scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Thank you. As individuals and as a family of faith, we are grateful people. We declare, oh God, that there is nothing done in this place that is on the strength of the flesh and Lord we declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that only you can touch and change the lives of your people tonight no man it is not given to any man to produce transformation in his skin your people have come from everywhere tonight trusting for an encounter with the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ we pray do miracles tonight do miracles tonight mighty miracles tonight oh let there be grace for the working of miracles tonight faithful God hallelujah hallelujah you're the mighty God Hallelujah, Hallelujah, you're the all wise God. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Lift your hands and sing to Him. You are mighty in this place. I tell you, I see angels in this place. That's what I'm saying to the Spirit. You are mighty in this place. Mirrors of angels. Mirrors of angels. You are mighty in this place. Faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God, forever, glory to God, glory to God. Glory to God forever. Sing it unto Him. You are invoking His presence tonight. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God forever. Spirit of the Living God. You will invade this place.
Glory to your name, O God. You're the only one who deserves to be exalted. There is no man who competes with you. There is no man who can take your place. The Bible says, What is man that thou art mindful of? Not the son of man that thou visitest him. You have made him a little lower than Elohim, crowned him with glory and virtue, set him over the works of your creation. Miracle jobs, miracle jobs. The Holy Spirit is ministering to me, releasing jobs for people, releasing jobs for families. I said the delay, the delay of employment is coming to an end for many people. The delay of employment. Jesus. 
Chains are breaking. You are risen from the dead, and you are Lord. <laughs> Light is shining in the darkness. I'm seeing something strange that will begin to happen in the spirit. People will start dancing in the spirit. This is what I see. It's a mystery. It's going to happen by the spirit. Literally, literally dancing in the spirit. It's an operation of the Holy Spirit is releasing tonight. He's doing a miracle in the midst of his people. Let's just flow with what the Holy Ghost is doing. The miracle service for next week has begun already. Dancing in the spirit. The Holy Spirit is moving people and influencing them. Influencing them by an ability that is greater. Shaboka Supra is Kalabariaga. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Forever you will be. A lamb upon the throne. I gladly bow. To worship you, Shira la 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 la
I just want you to lift your hands and just be quiet in his presence. Just lift your hands to the heavens. Everywhere inside and his glory is mighty in this place. Mm. Just lift your hands to his glory. Just lift your hands. Of your presence, we your temple. We give you reverence. Now arise from your throne. And be blessed by our praise as we glory in your embrace. Let your power now. Lord, we wait on you. For you are that river that flows from Zion, bringing healing, bringing salvation. We have come tonight, O oh God, expecting you to bless us. We are not in a hurry. We are not in a hurry. We will wait. Oh, no. Just keep your hands lifted. For in your presence there's fullness of joy and our strength shall be restored as we wait. I will wait on the For in your presence there's fullness of joy and our strength will be restored for we wait upon the Lord yes we wait upon the Lord oh wait on him there is strength coming upon you we wait upon the Lord we wait upon the Lord Shena na 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 mo na so na 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 mi. Shena ma na mo so na 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 na. Shena na na shena na na ni na na. Shena na mo so na na ma ni na mo se da ni na 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 na. Shena ma de na na da ba ni na mo so na na ni. Ma na na mo so na na ni. Lord, we wait on you. You are drawing strength from the throne. Don't you think you are wasting time at all? 
this is part of the meeting already he's doing miracles he's touching people by his anointing touching people by his anointing no man is able to respond to your situation we're invoking an anointing that is greater than us power that is greater than us I hear the Spirit say unto me, lay your burdens down. Lay your burdens down. That's what the Holy Spirit is telling me. Lay your burdens down. The bills, the sickness, the frustrations. For I am able, said the Spirit of God. I am able, said the Spirit of God. Lay your burdens down. You have allowed your situations to overwhelm you. You have allowed your situations to be cloud your faith. I am still able. I am still able, said the Spirit of God. I am still able. That's what the Lord is telling us tonight. I am able. You may not know how the miracle will come to pass, but I am able. I am able. That's what the Lord is saying. I'm moving ahead of you into that area of darkness. The Lord is giving people miracles, responding to your individual needs. I may not know what they are, but you came for koinonia. The God of heaven is meeting men at the point of their needs. I go before you. I go before you. I go before you. I'm seeing what looks like a cleaner. God is saying, I'm erasing your mistakes. That's what God is saying to someone. I'm erasing your mistakes. I'm erasing your past. I'm giving you a new beginning. I'm giving you a new beginning. A new beginning. Yes, we someone I'm restoring your dreams and visions that's what God is saying I'm restoring I'm restoring your dreams those encounters you used to have those supernatural encounters you stopped writing for a long time because the visitation ceased tonight the oil is being opened and released onto you it's like a fragrance you are receiving it it's coming upon your life that's what the spirit is saying it's time to come back to the secret place. It's time to come back to the secret place. For someone, the Lord is ministering. You used to spend time with me two hours every night. But you stopped. You stopped. There were all kinds of distractions. But the Lord is saying, I'm still waiting for you. In that place of encounter, I'm still waiting for you to show you great things. To show you great things. To show you great things. The Lord is speaking to a man here. You are an engineer. And he's saying, do not give up. I'm about to step into your life. Do not give up. The Lord gave you a word by January that he will honor you. But as it is, you've not seen anything. No projects, no work. But the Lord is saying, I should tell you, he's stepping in, even in this glory. Stepping in in this glory. There are a number of ladies here. You really used to hear God with clarity. But all kinds of distractions came into your life and sincerely for a long time. You cannot say you really had God with a clear direction. But the Lord is bringing a restoration right now. That's what is happening. The hearing ears. God is opening your ears once again. To start hearing the voice of the Spirit. With clarity. I'm seeing, I'm seeing green grasses. That's what I'm seeing. The Lord is bringing freshness to your spiritual life. That life of stillness. Stillness carrying yesterday's grace yesterday's glory the lord is replacing it with something new and fresh
Thank you, Jesus. For you alone will do these things and glorify yourself. You have come tonight to experience His grace. Anointing of the Spirit is strong. Let's just flow with what God is doing. Lord, let no burden remain. Let no burden remain. Let no burden remain. According to your promises, I can stand secure. Would you carve upon my heart this truth that sets me free? According to your word, oh Lord, be it unto me. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me says the works that I do shall also do greater works than this shall be. Spirit of God, we thank you for your presence. speaking a word to someone and he's saying the harassment comes to stop it comes to full stop tonight the harassment in dreams that spirit that comes to you to oppress you the harassment stops the harassment stops by the anointing of the Holy Spirit the harassment stops the harassment stops But thou, O oh Lord, had a shield for me, my glory and the lifter of my head. But thou, O oh Lord, had a shield for me. expecting a touch you're already touching people in the name of Jesus please everyone just lay your right hand on your tummy this is the instruction God is giving let's just act lay your right hand on your tummy please no instruments everything just stop let's, let's just obey what the Lord is saying just lay your right hand on your tummy don't mind me this is what the Holy Ghost is telling me. Now, there are many of you who are going to be receiving strange graces for the next level. Supernatural direction. It will come like fire inside and outside. Right now, oh God, confirm your word with power. 
across this building and in every of the overflows right now. Just keep your hands on your stomach. Miracles. Shabakataya. Let it leave the heavens and come to the earth. Miracles. Miracles. Everywhere. Outside, there is a mighty angelic walk. It's like an impregnation that is happening outside. Strange signs outside. In every one of the overflows. Strange signs of the spirit. Strange signs. There are two ladies at my back in the worship team. I see the power of God touching you right now. Strange signs. That fire from your innermost being. From your innermost being right now. The Lord is doing that miracle across the entire auditorium. He's touching people. Let's just let him do what he's doing. Because this is the answer to your prayer. This is why you have prayed. You can't stand it. Lord, let it leave your throne. Let it not be restrained in the heavens until it steps into the destinies of your people. This is what they have prayed for. They have fasted for it. They have prayed. They have fasted. They have prayed. They have fasted. Then let it come, O oh God. Let it come, O oh God. The grace that can open strange doors. Strange testimonies. Strange testimonies. Shaka Barakusia. Just the guitar. Just play minors. Just on the guitar. Go ahead. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Not the bass guitar. Just keep your hands on your stomach. The Lord is doing a miracle. The Lord is saying, He's stepping into the finances of families. This is what I'm hearing. That's why He told me, Let the guitar play because He wants to speak. The Lord is doing miracles in finance in the finances of many families right now. I'm hearing favor, financial favor. I'm releasing financial favor. You will hear the testimony. It will start in your life. It will flow to your family. That's what the Lord is saying. Where are they, oh God? Touch them, touch them, touch them, touch them. Bring performance to your word. Bring creation to your word. Financial miracles financial miracles the lord is saying it's time to move to the next level he's speaking to families it's time to move financially there is a mantle coming i'm seeing it like a dew it's like the dew of heaven if it comes upon you it's your family he's talking about if it comes upon you expect it don't just receive expect a testimony i don't know how it will happen but if you are affected by this prophetic word then your family is under the influence of a financial anointing Lord, spare not your hands. Stretch it from the heavens. Stretch it from the heavens. Release financial miracles. That's what the Lord is saying. For many of you, it will do you like a dream. You wouldn't even know how it will happen. Supernatural connections, strategic alliances by the Spirit of God. Meeting the people that matter. Meeting the people that matter. Financial saviors, financial helpers. Joseph of Arimathea rising for you. Rising for you. This is what you have prayed for. It is important that you receive testimonies. You receive miracles. There is a lady you traveled from the south. Like a, one of the Yoruba countries. You came all the way from the south. And you came asking the Lord to visit your family. Right now, the miracle is already beginning for your family. Such an invasion of the spirit of God. It's bringing light to every area of darkness. There is a brother, the Lord is speaking. He's saying, leave the wedding date at September. Don't move it. Leave it there. I will make it happen. It will be by my spirit. The Lord is speaking to a brother. Leave the wedding date at September. Leave it there. 
don't change it because of finances i will move and go ahead of you i will move and go ahead of you i will move and go ahead of you the lord is speaking to a woman here not a young lady a woman the dream that i gave you july 2012 is about to come to pass the dream that i gave you july 2012 july 2012 is coming to pass speedily july 2012 that dream that i gave you july 2012 is coming to pass A miracle is coming for a gentleman by the name Musa. Musa, a gentleman by the name Musa. The Lord is bringing a miracle for him right now. God is healing a lady of appendicitis. Appendicitis, that's what, that's what it is. You don't know, but you've been having severe pain. Severe pain is appendicitis. And the Lord is bringing a miracle right now. There is a man here, you've been trusting God for promotion. This is five years. Five years. The Lord says in the next three months, your letter will arrive. In the next three months and you will testify. Pay attention to the prophetic words. There is grace to make them come to pass. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Please be seated if you can. Just leave those under the anointing. Just sit if you can. God is doing strange things tonight. There are three ladies this will come upon supernatural laughter in a very strange way they can't control it i will worship you forever love you forever this god is too don't just bring people out like that please this is a prophetic experience they'll never be able to stop the laughter it's not it's not about what they want to do is a is a message i will worship you forever love you forever because i prophesy to all three of you let your family step into a season of laughter right now i release that anointing even as you are laughing i release it in the name of jesus there is authority in your laughter i declare by that authority in the name that is above all names in the name that is above all names the lord is bringing miracles to people glorify yourself oh god in the name of jesus listen we do business in this kingdom on the strength of mysteries mysteries are secret codes of operation he said the secrets of the lord are with them that fear him and he will show them his covenants there is a way to make things happen in the spirit madam the witchcraft in your family dies forever it leaves your family right now i command that spirit you take your hands of her life in the name of Jesus Christ. James, 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 you are a visitor. Who is that? Is there someone like that? James. There's someone called James, he's a visitor. 
this is your first time of coming run the Lord wants to use you and bring a miracle to your family but look at me God needs to save you huh there are many things wrong with your life many things huh you are a bad boy God is going to change your entire life I'm not I'm not I'm not insulting you but there will be a miracle for you right now because the hand of God is upon your life but there is a spirit that is destroying you a spirit that is destroying you I cast that spirit right now let it live your life forever in the name of Jesus Christ father you can use anybody and anything you brought James out in the name of Jesus let me talk to one more lady Helene I'm hearing a name Helene is there someone with that name Helene come who came with you came alone you came alone but why am I seeing a man standing near you listen there is a spirit tormenting you let her go now I curse you by the God of heaven in the name of Jesus this has stopped her life tied everything I'm seeing everything under chains there is a man standing and this man is shouting and saying he's married to you. I curse you by the God of heaven. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, that spirit lives your life forever. I bring you complete deliverance. In the name of Jesus. Are you married? That's it for your marriage. This is the reason why you're not married. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Because this has been your prayer. This has been your desire. Anything you start. And I need to pray for you because your stomach is swelling. It's even embarrassing you. You are thinking it's because you are eating too much. If I don't pray for you, they will tell you something like fibroid is growing. And we have to pray. We curse it. It dies a natural death and goes back there. That person that comes to oppress you in your dream never returns to you again forever in the name of Jesus. And may doors open for you strangely. In the name of Jesus Christ. Our time is gone. Um, there are three things, three keys, three mysteries that can invoke the manifested presence of God. The manifest presence of God in the life of a man, in a ministry. I wanted to start a series on throne room encounters but the Lord asked me to talk about this number one is obedience we're going to be fast because I want us to pray God still wants to visit people my sister come this lady um, where the usher is standing that gentleman right one two three just your rope the third lady come no not you the lady at your back come yes she's the one you come please please save our time um, the Lord says I should prophesy to you that the rejected stone becomes the chief cornerstone the rejected stone becomes the chief cornerstone you may look at yourself and think you are nobody you may look at yourself and think you are a weak person this is what has been destroying you you compare yourself with people you have been crying simply because you are not doing well you are not doing well in anything and then people have been insulting you and this has made you to feel so bad while you were sitting there the Lord opened my eyes and I saw a lot of misery you see the lady crying you see let me tell you there are all kinds of people seated in this place tonight when you see people just sitting you may not know what is destroying them eating them up because the destiny that I see is far different from what I see right now 
this is already putting a lot of pressure you love god but you know this sense of inferiority is killing you and eating you up the lord is saying i should tell you the rejected stone will later become the chief cornerstone lord jesus i pray for this dear lady there is nobody you cannot change there is nobody you cannot touch may the god that i serve visit you may he give you a new beginning i cut you away from bad friends and bad influences that make you try to do things to belong no leave them this night don't have anything to do with them in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ madam madam you are asking the lord to talk to me that i should minister to you i'm hearing your prayer come you are praying and your prayer is coming to my ears you are bowing your head and you are saying oh god please let this man talk to me what is the relationship between you and the woman sitting close to you she's my elder sister do i know come because i'm seeing that the miracle is not just for you alone but god is doing something for the family please stand up Kai, okay, this woman has suffered seriously i look at this woman i'm seeing pains you are a very kind woman but what is this thing that makes you in trouble all sorts of trouble where is your husband what's he doing madam god needs to visit three things that's what the lord is showing me number one is your finances things are dying in your family that thing your husband is doing before he collects his salary he's already owing there is serious trouble you have cried about this thing it's even causing trouble for you people at home right yes, now sir. is that true yes your husband is in in fact sometimes he looks as if you know you have to look at yourself and say am i irritating this man yes, because sir. of the way he's behaving you are even yes. suspecting that maybe he's having an affair with somebody yes, else sir. the lord is ending this confusion for you because you are a kind woman there is a spirit responsible for your tragedy this woman is a very kind woman but i'm seeing bad luck everywhere you go that's what i'm seeing there's nothing you do that works see let me tell you the power of god look at this family crying you know sometimes people think we just do these things because we are emotional and we're wasting time did you know there are people as they are sitting down there that's their last opportunity they are saying they will now go to a prophet or somebody and he will tell them bring hundred thousand bring two hundred thousand remove your clothes let me bath you let me do this and then after that one you add all kinds of things because i'm looking at this woman and i'm seeing a lot of struggle the same spirit causing you pain is what wants to destroy her life and destroy what is supposed to be an, a source of joy for her marriage huh we have to pray did you come alone they are crying official assignment yesterday she told me about your story i supposed to go back to abuja yeah my story. i have changed three university for my son it's a drug addict my first son 23 years a drug addict where is he is in abuja Suleiman. It's not just that this boy is a drug addict. Ah, I don't like what I'm seeing, no. Because they want to convert this boy. That's what I'm seeing. This is this is not a nice thing. We are going to pray. Truly, this woman has suffered. But things are going to change. Your husband needs a miracle, a big miracle. Do you know this woman is so kind? She's not even concerned about herself she would rather not have clothes than for her children this is the kind of woman i'm seeing in the spirit i sold my car to pay school fees i sold my car to pay my sons can you work on this technical or shadrach are you doing something wrong i sold my car to pay my son's school your car 
to pay whose school fees? My son's school fees. The boy that is. Oh, yes. look at this. Where is he? See, let me tell you. May God make this never be your testimony. You don't know what it means. The child you are waiting for, trusting that God will use him to wipe your tears, and the devil just hijacks his destiny. Now, no car, and the son is not even serious. I need to pray for you because you have not slept very well in days, madam. I'm looking at your sister and I'm seeing that you have not slept. I'm hearing you people saying, what, what is wrong with our family? Especially the girls, the ladies in your family. That's what you, you are the one who is saying that thing. You are telling her, I'm seeing you people in a discussion and you, you are telling her what is wrong with our family. All the ladies, they are virtuous, they love God but nothing good comes out of it and there are families like this seated looking at me is that true madam yes sir because i'm hearing a conversation and she's asking you we are saying, seven, seven ladies, seven how women. many of you seven of us how who is doing well among you nobody, nobody. nobody. you see what i'm saying seven ladies nobody is doing well and all of them are serious and nice virtuous ladies they either get married to foolish men yes, or sir. get married to all kinds of things. Yes, sir. Where is number four? Who is number four among them? It's her mother. Huh? Her mother. There is a miracle that God wants to give her because the Lord said that she's number four in the order is visiting her. My dear, please calm down. What happened to your mother in her marriage? The devil wants to bring it to happen to you. We are going to destroy. Their father is not with her mother. That's what I'm saying. We are going to destroy because this one soon. I will worship him forever. Love him forever. Because this God is too good. I will worship him forever. Love him forever. Because this god is too good oh. bring that lady who shouted there is a miracle god wants to give her family is it okay if i just continue ministering please i know i'm supposed to share something but the the thing god is doing now god wants to talk to people let's let's just let him solve serious problems here It's your time for breakthrough stand up you come i came all the way an angel of the lord was walking and said i should follow him and he brought me to your place come it's time for god to wipe your tears you get the glory you get the praise you take the honor i just want to say thank you Thank you. You get the glory. You get the glory. Hallelujah. We don't kill, but I'm seeing someone's uncle dying. I'm seeing that man in a shrine concocting something and saying all the ladies would not marry. But I'm seeing like thunder striking him. That's what the Lord is should help that lady right now. I'm seeing it happen. I announce our victory if I be a servant of the Lord right now. May the earth open and swallow them. I speak it by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Any man sitting on what belongs to you, any man sitting on your glory, Jimmy, God is bringing a miracle for your sister. I'm seeing your sister I'm seeing your face and I'm seeing her still flash is she here who is come I didn't even know that she's here I'm seeing the Lord is saying he's bringing a miracle for her I'm seeing somebody clean footprints on the ground that's what I'm seeing you are moving and you are leaving footprints and the footprints i see flies all around it but i'm seeing someone cleaning cleaning it and the lord is saying i should tell you remember not the former things nor consider the things of old he says i should tell you behold i will do a new thing god will begin a strange walk in your life and it's going to surprise you 
a strange work. You have a desire for God. You sincerely love God. And let me tell you, the desire is not a waste. The same way your brother is loving God and being passionate. Look at me. It's not about perfection. It's about sincerity of motive. The, the journey to self-perfection is unnecessary and exhausting. What God requires is a sincere desire for me. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, the anointing that will wipe the past of this lady's life, the past that eats you, I curse it by the God of heaven. In the name of Jesus, may your conscience be purged by the blood. May the water of the word cleanse you. And may grace be supplied unto you for a new dimension, for a new level. I release this grace upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's go to Exodus 40, 33, please. Exodus 40, 33. We really have to be fast. <sighs> Exodus 40, 33. Moses wanted to once again experience the manifested presence of God. But he could not see that presence find expression until his obedience was perfected, complete. Let me tell you something. Half obedience is not obedience at all. Half obedience. You must obey to the latter. God is very meticulous about his instructions. Are we together now? And so God kept watching as they attempted building it. And then 40 verse 33 it says and he reared up the court round about the tabernacle and the altar and set up for the hanging of the court gate right read the last sentence if you have open there it says so Moses finished the work he finished building according to pattern obeyed as instructed to the latter and something happened in the next verse 34 he says, then a cloud covered the tent of the congregation and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. The word glory is the Hebrew word kabod. The essence, the fullness, the expression of all that makes a man what he is or whatever deity. So when we say the glory of God, the effulgence of his person, right? Fill the temple, 35. And Moses was not able to enter the tent of congregation because the cloud abode thereon and the glory of the Lord filled the temple. When you are obedient, you will see the glory of the Lord in your life in most remarkable ways. You don't have to be a pastor to see the glory of God. You don't have to be a man of God. Once you are kingdom compliant, the sacrifice of complying with the principles of the kingdom then you are authorized to experience the glory you see you may not be able to see all of the clouds and all of that but the glory of god is made manifest in miracles strange testimonies dramatic operations of the hands of god that leaves you baffled everyone who sees you knows that this is by the finger of god that's somebody's testimony tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ grace to obey grace to obey you must cry for it complete obedience gives you access access to experiencing the glory number two the second key to experiencing the manifestation of God's glory is prayer prayer Matthew chapter 7 17 Matthew 17 Verse 1 to 8, Matthew 17. Matthew 17. Verse 1 to 8. This was the encounter that we call the transfiguration of Jesus. We apologize for the inability of the media to switch for now. Please. Just bear with us. I'm sure they are working on it. And after six days, listen. Jesus taketh Peter, James, and John his brother, and bringeth them up into.
to a high mountain privately there are certain things in the kingdom that are not just for Christians listen I know we have this idea that yes God doesn't want to hide anything from us but you see the dispensation of spiritual realities is according to the degree to which the Spirit of God can trust you there are certain trust levels if you have not attained certain deep mysteries of the kingdom cannot be committed to you the Bible says that he was the one who called all the disciples but he took three and he says there is something I want to show you privately what did he show them privately a mystery the bible says and was transfigured before them listen he went to the place of prayer and that transfiguration began and the bible says his face did shine like the sun and his raiment was as white as the light and behold there appeared unto them moses and elijah talking with him listen verse 4 he says then then answered peter and said unto jesus lord it is good for us to be here if thou wilt let us make this and that and that and that you know and then he was just speaking and so on and so forth and then the bible says verse 5 while he yet spoke jesus was communicating with them in the place of prayer and he was trying to make an arrangement and the bible says behold a bright cloud overshadowed them and then behold a voice spoke out of the cloud and said this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased hear ye him verse 6 he says and when the disciples heard it they fell on their face and they were much terrified he says and jesus came and touched them and said arise and be not afraid and when they had lifted up their eyes they saw no man except jesus only listen there is a dimension of the glory of god you will never experience until the ministry of prayer brings you there you can do every bible study you know to do you can read every concordance takes and so on and so forth there is a degree of open heavens the manifestation of the glory of god upon a man's life that is a direct answer to the ministry of prayer are we together now he spake a parable Luke 18 verse 1 unto them to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint he spake a parable B by prayer I don't just mean oh God give me tea give me bread that's just, that's petition 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 give me tea give me bread that's petition hallelujah the kind of prayer I'm talking about is the type that is said in the book of James. Effectual, fervent prayer of the righteous man. You see, let me tell you, there is nothing in your life that can substitute for the absence of a healthy life of prayer. No matter your word level, it will show. When a man does not have an altar that is alive, an altar of prayer, the first thing that disappears is discernment discernment is lack of discernment is spiritual blindness what lack of discernment is to the realm of the spirit that's what blindness is in the physical realm the moment a man is close to the impulses of the activities of the spirit there is no effect so things happen around our lives and we we become victims we become um, um, victims of the effects of things that happen not the initiators of the faith the ministry of prayer it was on the strength of prayer that when satan spoke to peter jesus looked at him and said get thee behind me satan and he said peter satan desired by discernment he desired to sift you like wheat he said but i have what what was the antidote prayed for you not discussed with him i prayed for you peter something is wrong with your discernment you didn't even know when the holy ghost was speaking to you you just said i am the christ and the spirit took over your voice you didn't even know the difference he said i'll pray for you because that's what is wrong the absence of a healthy altar of prayer it has numbed your discerning ability there are many believers here and it's sad if you're a leader here and you're a pastor 
believe me if you don't pray you will your discernment will be dark and blocked one of the greatest advantage of walking in the spirit is access to feeling the impulses of the environment of the spirit the realm of the spirit is a real realm like the physical realm right when you get born again and you are filled with the holy ghost as you begin to pray the first thing that happens to you is an activation of the ability to interact with the atmosphere of the spirit it may start in dreams it may start in visions it could be dramatic but then your spirit listen to my message spiritual perception your impulses of the spirit right they be, you begin to pick signals there is danger uh -uh. god does not want me to go here he doesn't have to give you a reason lack of prayer has brought a lot of catastrophe not all these things will just stroll around 30 minutes one hour you just throw back it's called the effectual fervent you don't add time to fervent you add passion to it and as far as your passion can drive you that's the validity of the prayer time it's not about saying i'll pray for 10 minutes or five hours or eight hours you will pray until the nothing of the spirit releases you you are praying to burn things in the spirit not for the formality of religion the problem with the prayer ministry is that most people pray to feel spiritual and then maybe to intimidate themselves their little group so if i pray for 30 minutes you add 30 minutes to it and it makes you look spiritual no when you are a spiritual man there is always an object that drives you to the prayer part time and as you pray you keep checking the rewards of your victory as against the impulse and stop only when that victory is established this is where we miss it when elijah prayed was it just according to desire he wanted an effect first time he prayed only god knows how long that was he said go and check there was no result what did he do again we stop we stop because it's two hours we use earthly time to gauge certain things you see the 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 things we are contending against sometimes will require time and certain dynamics of spiritual operation to produce victory so if you have this idea that because you are you want to pray you just sense god wants to speak to you and then you pray for 30 minutes or one hour and you feel i am okay you see you are using a wrong timing the same way if you pray for eight hours just blindly and religiously and think because you pray for eight hours it means you are making contact with the spirit no sir you pray according to the guidance of the spirit the spirit of god instructs you he navigates you your prayer there is a connection between a burden in the spirit and something in the realm of the spirit and you pray until there is a release when the servant came and said i've seen the sign elijah stopped at once he didn't say let me just continue since i've gone so far he stopped at once because prayer has a purpose once the purpose is achieved stop and move on in action brothers and sisters hear me especially for those who are workers those who are students those who are maybe business people and so on and so forth the the propensity for negligence in the place of prayer is very high are we together as a student you have lecture in the morning sometimes marathon lectures you are finishing in the evening you may have fellowship or you have certain things the truth is when you calculate it you find out that there's no time for quality prayer are we together now you see the most important thing about prayer it's not necessarily praying eight, eight hours every day at your level you cannot pray eight hours every day you'll be irresponsible in your activity the key is to maintain the fire and set periodic times when you compensate for the absence of the secret place. at least i expect everybody once a week you should be able to have some time when you can dedicate certain things and let me tell you in my life one of the biggest secrets of my prayer life is the mystery of night prayers i can tell you this as any man that prays the night time is when men, men gain crowns in the spirit why do you think people die in the night when they sleep why do you think people sicknesses and diseases amplify in the night 
there are many mysteries we don't know in the body of Christ maximize your night time especially for many of us here because we are young establish things in the night don't crash into trouble and then you are wondering what to do in the day the daytime is for manifestation we settle realities in the night believe me it will not rob you of sleep it's just a little sacrifice of prayer that will bring you tremendous power i hear god clearly at night there are times i go outside and i just sit down everyone has slept i just sit down outside and i'm meditating many of us have been seated in the night time the devil has studied your spiritual life and he has seen your area of vulnerability let me tell you something do you know there is something called slumber i hope you know it's a spirit uncontrolled passion for sleep you are passionate about sleep i'm not just talking of resting you know you are tired and you are resting some of us is a spirit no matter how you plan to pray once it's night even if you slept from morning till that time you are just going to thank the lord lord i bless you and snore your way to the morning it's a spirit if no one has told you something is wrong with your destiny many politicians and businessmen their time of meeting is in the night witches and wizards and demons that do all kinds of things you take advantage of the mysteries in the spirit there are times and seasons that grant you access by grace you see if you do not know these things if you do not know these things you will you will miss out on a lot of things why is it called the lost supper not the lord's breakfast not the lord's lunch why was it done in the night because there was no time no it was a mystery i pray for every dead prayer life here or every prayer life that is need driven father i'm coming before you now the other time you gave me five thousand listen if you really want to be strong and gain power and open the heavens your prayer must be effectual the key to effectual prayer is praying in tongues there is a place for praying in your understanding but i'm telling you if you want to make an effect pray in the spirit for no man knows what is in the heart of a man said the spirit that is in that man so no man knows what is in the heart of god you don't just go around grumbling just praying sing one or two choruses which is good the key to prayer i'm telling you effectual prayer that builds you is praying in tongues spend time praying in tongues not just in english or in your language no there is a place for that pray in the spirit and please if you are here and you have not received the baptism of the holy spirit correctly and seriously i want you to know that there is something you are missing now i know i don't want to go into all the details that time is gone we come from different churches different ministries i know we have different ideas my goal of teaching this tonight is not to create controversy but i love you too much not to tell you the truth if you are not filled with the holy spirit i don't know what you have been taught about it we have teachings already there you can listen to it this is there is a need for you to say lord i need to upgrade it's not just about praying blah, 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 making noise no this is a spiritual language the bible calls it an instrument that helps our infirmities what is our infirmity the bible says we do not know what to pray for as we ought to but the spirit makes intercession are we together don't say i just love the lord i'm, I'm okay I'm, I'm fine honestly i don't want to complicate my spiritual life it's already complicated this world we live is very complicated the ministry of prayer is what will straighten that crooked path he said elijah was a man of like passion like us he said he prayed earnestly that there would be no rain for a space of three and a half years elijah locked the heavens and put the key in his pocket he said the heavens will not be open except at my word not the word of any man of god that is serious these are men who took territories they 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 taught the heavens open one time he was up the mountain some enemies came you see that a man of prayer let me tell you if you're a man of prayer and any man goes to any shrine to concoct nonsense 
Oh, come on. Ask the prophets of Baal what happened to them. The Bible says they kept calling on Baal for money. Elijah said, maybe he's sleeping. Wake him. You know why many Christians are weak in the body of Christ? We love comfort to a fault. And, and we men of God are the ones who have destroyed people. I believe in prosperity, you know that. I believe in the blessings of God. But brothers and sisters, let me tell you, there is the sacrifice you must make for your destiny. The sacrifice of prayer. It's not all about having CDs. There are giants on every mountain. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? There are giants on every mountain. You are a pastor. You are not praying. You just share a revelation and you are happy. You believe you come on stage. No prayer. No periodic fasting. No strength. You just want to speak and let things happen. Do you think God is a herbalist? No. God is not a herbalist. Please, if you are a pastor here, pay attention to what I'm telling you. Except you want to joke around with your members. Or you are ready for empty pews. The generation we are in now, members are not ready to waste their time for nonsense again. Once they come and sit down and you are wasting their time, they will get up and they will leave. No matter how you pray. Pour one gallon of oil on your head. We need power. It takes prayer to access open heavens. Are we together? We add drama in churches for two hours. And then when he's about to pray, they say, everybody bow your head. As if we are mourning. Somebody just recites a prayer request for 10 minutes. We say, okay, thank you, Jesus, for answering prayer. And people get up. And that's why we keep getting weaker and weaker. No discernment. Spiritual things are flying around your territory. Nobody has the eyes to see and the ears to hear until it happens and everybody is confused. May that be, not be your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Three enemies of prayer. Number one, excess food. Excess food. There is a name for it. It's called gluttony. Believe me, if you take what I'm telling you, your prayer life will step into another dimension. Am I saying you should not eat? No, not at all. Excess food, gluttony. There is a connection between food and the flesh. Number two, excess sleep. Excess sleep. The second enemy of prayer. Excess sleep. Number three, the third enemy of prayer, worry. Worry. Worry is a spirit. That's why the first assignment of worry is to bring you to a point of depression. Have you seen people with worry? I don't mean people who are just thinking real worry. They can't even talk. Ah, uh -uh, are you doing well? They just keep quiet. Because Satan's goal is to shut your mouth. He knows that there is power that is released if you open your mouth. He says, my heart is indicting a good matter. Yea, I speak of excellent things. He said, my tongue is the pen of a ready writer. Psalms 45, 1 and 2. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. Men ought always to pray. Brothers and sisters, pray. Turn and tell your neighbor, pray. Say, pray again. Say, pray again. Say, pray in the night. Yeah, pray in the night. You will, you will command tremendous power. There were times in Zaria, most of the people here will tell you, night time was the time people built strength. Ah, come on. You would see all kinds of strategies of prayer. Strategies. But, well, God is helping us. I'm just, I'm just challenging you. Brothers and sisters, please hear me. If you are married, husband and wife, pray. A praying husband and wife is a staying husband and wife. A lazy husband and wife is a divorced family already. It's a matter of time. Because every spirit, the devil will move across families. And he will come like the angel of death, pass through every city. But when he got to Goshen, he came. He saw that he saw that there was a fortification. What fortification have you put around your life? John chapter 1, when Satan went before God, what happened? He met a man who made oblations for his children. It was a similitude of prayer. And Satan said, I came, but I could not access him. Have you not built an hedge around him? 
repeat after me a prayerless Christian is a powerless Christian beauty and glory of God comes upon your life when you pray don't put prayer as an instrument of crashing this is the problem some of us pray but the entire scope of our prayer is God give me are you not seeing give me and we try to manipulate God and bend his hand that's why he gave it the blessings of praying in the spirit pray in the spirit stretch in the spirit you can put worship songs your earphone or something to create the atmosphere pray in the spirit even if you cannot pray in the night early hours of the morning why not put a little worship song charge your spirit sing one or two songs blast every mountain before you in tongues and walk out in the day and you become a living miracle you are walking with the heavens open and what looks miraculous for others becomes your atmosphere men will sit down and plot evil you will walk on it as if satan does not exist ah those are the people who will not be affected by the arrows that fly by day not the noisome pestilence there are people who will be affected you are a christian but you will still be affected but there are those who are immune i pity the native doctor that calls my name in any time it's not just that it, if all that happens is that it does not work i'm still cheated for calling my name that charm and the native doctor was born to ashes when elijah finished proving his point he said no 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 no. if we stop here that's not all go and meet those prophets kill every one of them as a testament that you don't try god the devil has mocked some of our lives and we're just watching running for counseling and discussing some of you this night you will lock your door and say i'm offering my phone lord it must change families don't pray they discuss they call people to come and gossip but they never pray we meet people for counseling we go and meet babalao we go and meet all kinds of people but we never pray we pray as a last resort oh god i come to you you too you have seen what we have done we have made all of our efforts whereas we should come before god there was a king in the bible who died because he didn't seek god it was a taboo to seek other things when you have problems we depend on uncles if i talk to my uncle he will do this let me tell you never take action on anything until you have prayed about it especially major decisions in your life no matter how convinced you are pray because there is a way that cement right unto a man but the bible says the end thereof i can't tell you how many things i wanted to do plans i had physically speaking they look fabulous but when i went to the place of prayer there are many things we wanted to do as a ministry i would discuss in our leaders meeting oh we are going to do a and b i will go back to god it is silent i come back they know already the moment i say we'll do a thing and i'm silent about it they know god does do you have the courage to keep quiet if god is silent do you have the courage to stand still if God is not moving? If the cloud did not move, they did not move. If it stood still, stand still. The true benefit of prayer, not this thing people do just for spirituality, just to show that I'm a man of prayer. People bend and deceive themselves to show they are praying. That's not a sign of prayer. That's nonsense. Those are the kinds of things that make God look like an idiot. Prayer is serious business. And it commands victory. Say, I receive grace to pray. Say it again. I receive grace to pray. Grace to pray. Take charge of your atmosphere. There are giants on every mountain. If they didn't spare Jesus, they will not spare you. I guarantee you. Make no mistake. Do not think they will not come for your business or your family or your children. You have the testimony of our dear mother. Do not think they will. They will the devil will attack anything that can be attacked. If it does not happen it's coming i guarantee you in the name of the lord the bible says after the temptation he left jesus for a season for a season he came through peter jesus detected him he said ah you caught me the next time he came through judas the son of perdition jesus allowed it to be so that scriptures will be fulfilled not because he was not ready to overcome Go oh, speak from the heavens and the earth will he 
Oh, speak from your throne, and I'll hear from the earth. My altar is calling you, oh God. My prayer is calling you, oh God. Oh, speak from the heavens. And I'll hear you from the earth Oh, speak from your throne And I'll hear you from the earth For my altar is calling you Oh, God My secret place is calling you Oh, God Take my place have an altar that calls him do you have a secret place that calls him when there are men who seek your flesh and they are invoking upon altars is there an altar that answers or are you just loitering around hoping that life will work men have died because they did not have altars let me tell you please play no games I'm not scaring you lady don't think you will just get married because you are beautiful take back your priestly robe tonight and go back to the place of prayer there is an effectual fervent prayer there are many brothers you will not just be established because you are a graduate there are giants on every mountain a man can look at you with his saddest spirit and vow that you will not move forward it takes prayer to move mountains by the grace of God this ministry is moving as if the devil does not exist it's not because the devil does not want to destroy this ministry there is a mystery there are there are mysteries like cornerstones that we have found and put around the boundaries of this ministry number three the third key to carrying and releasing the glory and the manifest presence of God is worship the last scripture and then we'll continue next week during the miracle service second chronicles chapter 5 we'll read verse 13 and 14 just two verses very interesting this was the dedication of the temple when solomon had built the temple there was a sacrifice upon the altar and he was about to dedicate the temple hallelujah second chronicles 13 and 14 it came to pass listen as the trumpeters and singers were what as one making one sound to be heard in praising and thanking the Lord and when they lifted up their voice with trumpets and cymbals and instruments of music and praised the Lord saying for he is good for his mercy endured forever that what then the house was filled with the the cloud filled the whole house right the next verse so that the priests could not stand to minister by reason of the cloud for the glory of the lord had filled the house listen in 2005 i conducted a personal research jewish worship and the mystery of God's presence I was obsessed I wanted to know what the secret was how will a man just step into a place and the atmosphere just changes physically as if he carries a dimension of glory I wanted to find out because I saw this happen in the lives of the Jews I saw this happen to people who were associated to the Jews like Benihim and so on and so forth they would just sing and worship and before you know it the glory will fill the place oh i wish we had time we'll take it from here next week but brothers and sisters worship is a mystery that compels the presence of god to be made manifest worship is a mystery the third key to activate
anticipating the manifested presence of God here and now in a place worship it's not enough to just be obedient as powerful as prayer is there is a dimension many of us are missing in our spiritual life worship the Bible says in Psalm 100 it says that we enter his gates with thanksgiving then it says and his courts with praise it said come before him with singing the protocol to meeting him is song singing come before him it has nothing to do with the quality of your voice it has nothing to do with your music proficiency although that's an added advantage however you cannot give an excuse that because i cannot sing i cannot raise songs and incense of worship unto god next week i'm going to be teaching us the protocol of acceptable worship not every kind of worship is acceptable the proof that your worship is acceptable is that his glory responds to it i'll share with us the mystery of cain and abel a type of the man of the spirit and the man of the flesh the bible says both of them they came and they offered sacrifices of worship right and abel gave of his firstlings and his fatlings and cain just gave up the vegetables and all of that and then the bible says how that the sacrifice of abel rose up to the heavens and that of cain did not rise up and cain killed abel when god met cain he said where is you know where is abel he said am i my brother's keeper and then he began to challenge him and he said that if he did what was right paraphrasing would his sacrifice not be accepted sacrifice of worship is not just about singing there is a protocol that leads to acceptable worship the first key to acceptable worship is found in romans chapter 12 from verse 1 i beseech thee brethren by the message of god that ye offer your bodies that's the first key that ye offer your bodies not your songs not your voice not your offering not your oblations not the lifting up of your hands like the morning sacrifice above and beyond that there is a protocol there is a system that must precede your songs he says your body must become a prototype of what you want to offer with your lips and then Hebrews 13 gives us a picture of the fact that worship and praise is sacrificial so the first is there must be death we explain that the second is that it must be a sacrifice it says let us offer unto God the sacrifice of praise which are the calves of our lips he calls your sacrifice the calf of your lips in the similitude of that which was done in ancient times in the temple he says when you worship god it is in the similitude of the killing of bulls and rams he says offer the calves of your lips a sacrifice that is acceptable unto him hallelujah that's why we took our time to worship and as we began to worship god began to respond and touch people the spirit of prophecy came upon us and we began to minister three short things that have given me tonight that control the manifestation of god's glory you can't argue it they are not they are not they are not opinions they are the spiritual formula for accessing the glory of god number one obedience number two a a consistent life of effectual prayer hallelujah number three the incense of worship oh let my praise rise before you the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice these are all mysteries the mystery of the lifting up of hands the mystery of repetition as you sing you see a lot of people sing it the jews used to sing songs one line they would sing it for hours just like you see many people in many religions it's, it's not an enchantment there is something they do the mystery of repetition you see that happen in the songs that the psalmist wrote their response will be for
hallelujah thank you praise the lord for he is good and his mercies endure forever or for his mercies shall endure ever faithful ever sure and so he will say a lot of things and then they will keep responding listen they didn't write songs as musicians they wrote songs as spiritual men they didn't have that skill to compose songs it was as it was delivered to them it was delivered in a particular way that if they sang it it will make god respond in a particular way for instance that formula you are good and your mercy endures forever you know i've studied it i found out that every time the nation of israel wanted deliverance that was the song they sang it had to be that line they invoke the goodness and the mercy of god two things that we quote every sunday they are following us and we never see because we don't believe them the goodness of god and the mercy of god it was the goodness of god that passed before moses i will let my goodness a dimension of my glory called my goodness pass and then his mercy he says for it is of the lord's mercy that we are not consumed hallelujah we're going to rise and pray just for a few minutes and say lord i want to see your glory in my life i'm tired of just being a christian coming to church i want to begin to walk in the glory of god lift your hands and begin to pray hallelujah lift your hands and pray father i desire to see the glory the manifest presence of god in my life can you pray please go ahead Kanonya, are you praying? Shebra kata bara la bara la bara la bara la bara. I desire to see your glory in my life, Lord. I'm tired of a barren Christian life. I receive that grace, supernatural grace, supernatural grace, supernatural grace. I want to see your glory revealed in my life. Let the eyes of the blind be opened through my hands. Let the tears of the dead be unstopped. Let my life represent breakthroughs, signs, wonders, miracles. Hallelujah. Prayer point number one. Grace for unusual obedience. Lift your voice and pray. Grace. 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 Grace for unusual obedience. Those outside, make sure you are praying. Grace for usual obedience. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number two, please I'd like you to pray. If your prayer life is dead on its way to death, don't feel condemned, don't feel embarrassed, but I'd like you to pray. And say lord bring it back alive my prayer life at every level you can move higher lift your voice and pray the fervent and effectual prayer of the righteous are filled much make sure you are praying Lord, I'm tired of lack of discernment in my life. I'm tired of acting carnally. I'm tired of acting just by my sensory impulses. I pray my way to divine secrets. I pray my way to divine strategies. I pray my way to divine secrets. hallelujah hallelujah let's add one more prayer under the area of prayer you're going to pray many of us see things and hear things but there is no grace access to understanding so there are so many things god is showing us but we are deaf of understanding so we do not have the grace to interpret or to interpret correctly lift your voice and cry say grace to understand he said understand that what thou readest is one thing to see is one thing to have a dream 
it's one thing to hear God speak but it's another thing to understand the working knowledge of the revelations you have received you need it for your marriage you need it for your ministry you need it for your job you need it to know where God wants you to be part time understanding understanding Lord I'll not just have dreams I receive understanding I'll not just hear your voice I receive interpretations accurate unemotional interpretations of spiritual reality hallelujah hallelujah last prayer point Lord teach me the art of worship worship in a way that can bring your presence to abide and remain in my life lift your voice give me songs from heaven give me songs in the night melodies of the spirit let me hear the songs of angels let me hear the sound of the spirit give me the songs for every season the song to sing my way into the glory to sing my way into breakthrough to sing my way into healings and miracles to sing my way into prophecy grace to sing the songs of the spirit hallelujah hallelujah next week i'll teach you briefly before i begin to minister during the miracle service listen pay attention to the songs that god brings in your life seasonally there are times the spirit is the one who recommends the song you will use in your worship stay there don't be rebellious those songs have authority upon them to bring a dimension of breakthrough in the last maybe three months the lord speaks to me through songs I have I have gotten so many songs are we together now pay attention music is one of the languages in the spirit you must pay attention to the impulses the sounds sometimes it could just be the line of a song you are glorious so glorious in your ways that's what lands upon your spirit don't just guess your song and say the song is not in my tribe no there is authority in that song it's like a sword it's an instrument of warfare you keep singing it sometimes for hours are we together now yeah that's how i get see let me tell you i can give you testimonies of personal breakthroughs in my life as a result of certain songs so glorious in your way no other song will do you just keep singing it you get up in the morning and that's the only song you hear my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by that may be a song in your spirit you may just receive it god is telling you i'm coming too for you but you see the problem is many of us do not know you are supposed to take it don't stop singing it that's your instrument that's a pass in the spirit but we drop it and then raise all kinds of choruses in our languages and we're just singing and dancing and god is saying no there is acceptable worship are we together there are times you see us in koinonia here two weeks three weeks when i come up stage or the worship team we keep repeating certain songs there is authority upon the songs we stretch them until the grace that they came with from heaven is delivered unto the people then the songs will rest pay attention to songs everyone can receive songs whether you're a musician or not it's a product of alignment not just musical accuracy you can edit it but you can receive a song hold on to it and sing your way to an ending breakthrough it was the playing of the string that casted out demons right from david there was a sound that the spirits heard he said there is as it were many voices and none of them is without effect your worship is an incense it's a language that calls the presence of God. Lift your hands and let me pray for you.
in the name that is above all names let everyone represented here begin to walk in dramatic signs and wonders in the name of jesus christ the barrenness in your christian life that makes your revelations mock you because there is no grace for performance i command it to come to an end right now in the name of jesus christ that for every dimension of spiritual reality you communicate there will be grace to demonstrate its validity here and now in the name of jesus christ i pray for you everywhere you have tried to activate the operation of the word and have not gotten results go back now and see the strength of the almighty god upon your life in the name of jesus christ where you laid hands on the sick and nothing seemed to happen i empower your hands you go back and you will watch dramatic miracles in the name of jesus hear me the supernatural dimension in your life must be clearly made manifest for the world to listen to you they are not waiting for the explanation of the sons of god they are tired of noise there must be something supernatural people of god i want you to believe god and trust god tonight if you carry your problem and come and carry your anger and annoyance anger does not give miracles oh my stupid husband my stupid wife no you're going to come with your heart open and say lord i know i know it is within your power and you 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 are receptive receptive to prophecies receptive to instructions receptive to the move of god that when his power comes close to you you know that lord this is it i've gotten my miracle testifying is not magic you program your spirit to be a benefactor the anointing of the spirit can come and pass a place and you can stand as though it never located you is that true but there is a way you can position your spirit it's called faith first your conviction a, a sense of certainty that God will touch me the program was tailor made I was talking with the protocol while we we're coming and I was telling him that from start to finish of our programs especially the miracle service everything is designed to make sure that your miracle does not escape you from the opening prayer to everything to the nature of the prayers the miracles then prayer requests then everything and then still after the service i stand to see people is is a design to make sure that everybody receives don't let the devil mock god in your life you are going to insist and say lord i believe you lord i believe you now let me tell you something with satan because satan knows that we walk in the realm of the flesh he knows that the way he destroys your faith is to supply informations around your life that are very obvious is that true right now you are sitting down then he uses the pain and he says tell me man or woman of faith is it no pain you are feeling now and then you are tempted to say but it's true tell me man or woman of god is it not your rent issue you left at home is the landlord not waiting for you at home when you hear that kind of thing it just agitates you but people of faith say uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. i choose to believe it is in the believing the miracle will come i'm not ready to be distracted now it is in the believing that the miracle will come every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victor's crown you overcome you overcome every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victor's crown you overcome you overcome every high thing must every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victor's crown tonight in this place there are people who are afflicted by all kinds of diseases some of you have had medical reports some of you have spent money in the hospital and it has become clear some of you were even recommended by doctors we thank God for the caliber of doctors we're having now they are spiritual people 
Once they try once, twice, it's them who will advise you and say, we will not stop you. But Mr. Man, find a man of God quick. Are we together now? There are people here sick with all kinds of oppression. Benihim calls sickness death, limited death. He calls sickness limited death. That means if you are sick, it's like a part of you has already died and it's true. There are people here with all kinds of delays in need of major breakthroughs. Not everyone here is sick, but there are people in need of all kinds of breakthroughs. There are people here and many people do not know that the causes of their challenges are oppressions, demonic oppressions, demonic oppressions activities of spiritual forces in the lives of people programming repeated cycles of tragedy programming repeated cycles of tragedy there are people tonight in need of supernatural solutions solutions that only god can give job issues promotion issues health issues all kinds of issues it's not called a healing service it's called a miracle service a miracle service is an atmosphere where the multifaceted possibilities of god are allowed unrestrained it's like a feast if you are sick then there is a dimension of him that can address that if you are not sick but oppressed of the devil there is a dimension of him now it's important for us to understand how God answers prayers because many of us have been praying we have prayed here over our issues there are many of us what you need tonight is prayers and wisdom that is the answer that you need wisdom you may not be sick but a lot of your decisions may not be accurate and you will need a supply of wisdom or higher wisdom number two there are people tonight the miracle you need is grace for obedience grace for obedience grace for obedience that spiritual inertia that reluctance to rise up responding to your conviction is what has kept many of us where we are there are people tonight your prayers will be answered to deliverance there is no discussion you don't need counseling you need those spirits out of your life and the legal basis not just the spirits out of your life but the legal authorization that keeps them in your life keeps them in your family there are people tonight the answer to your prayer is healing for your body healing for your soul do you know years ago i didn't pay so much attention to what people call emotional healing i felt it was very feminine and for lazy people most i i felt any serious person needed physical healing or spiritual healing if you needed emotional healing you needed orientation too but it's not true um emotional healing can be more painful than physical healing are we together the Bible says a broken spirit can dry the bones where the life of a man is carved out. There are people in need of all kinds of healing. There are people tonight, the answer to your prayer is repentance and forgiveness. That's how God will answer you. You need to forgive and you also need to repent. That's your miracle service tonight. There are people tonight, the answer to your prayer is prophecy. You need a prophetic word. You need a direct prophetic word that addresses your issues. No long story, no discussion. Alongside the creative power that flows through prophecy. Pay attention. There are people tonight, the answer to your prayer is an impartation of favor it's very clear that if favor came into your life you would not be where you are 
favor there are people tonight the answer to your prayer is a direct impartation greater fire greater unction greater activation of the gifts of the spirit greater activation of of a higher capacity for spiritual things there are people tonight your own miracle service is an introduction of the mercy of God over your life and situation everybody here will receive tonight through one or more of these means a supply of wisdom grace for obedience deliverance from spirits healing repentance forgiveness prophecy favor impartation your assignment is to be sensitive to when your word comes you see that like the lady who was already shouting while the meeting started something is already happening to her you see god is already doing his business with her for someone in the overflow you may be in maybe overflow three overflow three the fence is covered and they almost cannot see me directly except through the screen doesn't matter the only thing you benefit standing close to a man of god is convenience in the realm of the spirit it doesn't matter whether you are here whether you are outside whether you are online whether you are in any nation doesn't matter the time zone the most important thing is when your faith can connect to the anointing then a supply of the power of god comes your direction tonight brothers and sisters i present to you a god who is almighty tonight i present to you a king that can heal that can change situations the bible says where the word of a king is there is power i present to you one who is not limited by our situations i present to you one who is loving enough to respond to you i present to you one who loves you enough to change your life i present to you one who can give you value for your time spent in his presence god is not a herbalist god is not a prophet he walked on the earth and manifested those things but he's god almighty i want your heart to be open tonight especially if you're here for the first time you may have come gone through all the rigors of the inconvenience to position yourself somewhere you must open up your heart to receive we have prayed we've partnered with god and god is ready to deliver that which is your portion in full in full in full not part of it remember the negotiation that pharaoh wanted he wanted to broker a negotiation and said let your wives go leave your kids behind and and moses said no way that's not what god told me everything must go plus animals so you're going to insist tonight that even if it's your hair falling, God must come in and touch it. Don't say it does not matter. Why believe God in one area and not believe in another? Regardless of the area, it is still the power of God that will solve it. Don't trust God to heal your body and then not change your financial situation. No. Don't trust God to step in and deliver you from oppression and then you go back sick again. Do you believe tonight? That the lord is going to step in and change your life truly speaking let me tell you this god has granted me the privilege to walk in dimensions of his anointing it still marvels me after many years of working in the anointing how the anointing works it's still a marvel to me at how when the power of god truly locates someone how his life changes overnight overnight except it's not the power of god that meets you you won't know it will change all of a sudden you will see doors open my elder sister shared with me a testimony today she probably might be following online something that god did in her life and i'm not a very emotional person but i was almost fighting tears i says god already first of october 
a strange these are the these are the these are the kinds of miracles listen these are the kinds of miracles that when you hear if only one of it happens per year you are happy major miracles that can shift your life i said lord thank you because my family members are also partaking because they have to believe too that they are my family members does not mean they will believe automatically no the brothers of jesus kept watching him and he said don't be watching no release your faith some of you here are sitting you have cried in the secret you have cried in the open let this be your last cry are we together only god knows the pain that some of you are seated here with the level of pain you are you are seated that, see this is why we fast and pray and prepare because we will be wicked to allow people come some of you started your journey since last week you have come to come spend time spend resources no this is not a cinema hall this is not a place of games some of you have carried sick people some of you have carried sick bodies there is a god that can reward there is a god that can reward please hear me i may not claim i know everything about god but i know this god enough to know he's mighty let the power of the holy ghost fall on Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me. Listen, listen. Let me teach you something about the anointing. The anointing introduces possibilities in your life. These are things that were not there. If it's not there, you can't say it's there. It's a lie. Tonight, don't tell lies. There are things that are not in your life but should be there. The agency that will bring it is the anointing. There is favor that should be in your life but it's not in your life. If it's not there, everybody will know. When it comes, we will also know. There were things that were not in my life years ago. When it came, I knew to the degree that brought it. Listen, tonight is the ministry of the spirit. I told you it's the anointing that is responsible for the result. It is the, the it, it said, how shall these things be? What is the dynamics? It said the power of the highest. That's how it happens. It has never changed. It is always an encounter with the anointing. Your, the job of your faith is to connect you to the anointing. It is never faith that moves God. No. Your faith connects you to the power of God. Tonight I came with an anointing. There is enough grace. There is enough anointing. I tell you this. There is enough anointing if you will believe. There is enough anointing. Your situation is not the first. Your situation is, the, is not the first. Your family situation is not the greatest. There is nothing new under the sun. God's ability is God's ability. It's working in me. It's working in me. God's ability is working in me. It's working in me. It's God's ability. God's ability is God's ability. It's working in me. It's working in me. It's working in me. God's ability. God's ability. God's ability. It's working in me. 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 It
solution to your problem is in the anointing seek an encounter with it when the anointing comes to you that's the answer that's the answer listen listen when the anointing comes your direction that's your answer that's God answering your prayer I'm not talking about falling down I'm talking about an encounter the answer is in the anointing your faith only connects you to the anointing Your life can change in a moment your life can change in a moment God is a prayer answering God he answers prayers by releasing his power he sends his power through his word in the direction where it is needed and received needed and received in the spirit 
and the Holy Ghost is telling me these are those who have been delayed delayed by the power of darkness I'm about to release the anointing upon people experiencing delay bring them out I stretch my hands delay you come on that judgment you come on that judgment delay delay I stretch my hands all the overflows online anyone here any family under the spirit of delay bring them out Sakoto Shabariata I decree and I declare I decree and I declare the fire of God breaking the chains of delay 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 bring them out delay over over forever there is an anointing i told you the anointing is the answer to the prayers there is an anointing I'm seeing in this main bowl 16 people. I'm seeing a number 16. Where are they? I stretch my hands. That sword of the spirit breaking delay. There are families with a covenant of delay. A covenant of delay. A covenant of delay. Breaking now. Breaking now. Breaking now. The covenant of delay. Shaka ta ta ta. Reketo kosotoba. The covenant of delay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Over for three, please look at me on the screen. You don't need to bring them here. It's too long a distance. Those inside that building. Just look at me on the screen because I'm seeing angels moving at overflow three and I want to pray for you overflow three right now in the name of Jesus right where you are in the name of Jesus I'm seeing the number 24 24 people right at overflow three the Lord is breaking delay breaking delay from them breaking delay right now breaking delay hallelujah there are still people listen I want you to believe in what God is doing I want you to have a testimony without an encounter with his power it will just be a religious service I promise you and you will go back it is the power of God the power of God is what draws the line hallelujah delay delay God is not yet done where is that family oh Lord that nobody has moved forward I'm seeing delay don't worry God is coming in the anointing of the spirit is looking for a family there is a family there is a family there is a family they are here there is a family Jesus Shokos Ketosia help this woman Sheketos Keleketa Yata Tosikata. There is a family. This is not just an individual thing. There is a family. The power of God is searching for a family that the devil has kept, kept, kept so that they will not rise. Hallelujah. We are going to be fast tonight. There are many things to do. I want you to be sensitive. The Lord is showing me a vision now. And I'm seeing a grave. I'm seeing something that looks like a black leather inside that grave. And I'm seeing an angel of the Lord pull it out. And the Lord is saying, this was done against a family. 
Lord, where is that family? Right now, I stretch my hands. Whoever programmed the earth to fight any family. Tonight is a night of resurrection. Sotetos Kariatata. Paroto Sotokos. Eleketo Kesetekotos. Priakatas Kotariata Tosia. Eketos Koliadada. I decree and declare. Let it come out now. Let it come out. The breakthrough of that family. The healing of that family. The miracle of that family. I release it now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm standing here and I'm looking at this stage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm counting seven stones. And the Lord is saying these are tight destinies. This is the whole destiny of a family. Seven of them. But may the sword of the God I serve. Shakoto Sukata. Shapras Katakosia. Raketo Toto Tetete. Ele Katos Ketaproskia. Rakata Batos Soteriata. In the name of Jesus. Any family tied down by witchcraft. Any family tied down by ordinances. I decree and declare by the blood of Jesus. Liberty tonight. Liberty tonight. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a family and there are four ladies and all the four ladies have a growth, either a breast lump or something in their body. Four ladies, all of them have it. In the name of Jesus Christ, wherever this family is, regardless of what, what overflow, I stretch my hands now. In the name of Jesus Christ, that family does not need healing. That family needs deliverance. I command deliverance right now. Shakato skata. Lekata koto sotopriata. I command deliverance for that family now. I command deliverance now. When I was praying, I saw at least eight women that were barren no child doesn't matter what he is some of them connected to families and the lord told me he was going to open the wombs of every single one of them every single one of them every single one of them please lift your hands i want to pray now i believe in deliverance I really do. This mama, there's serious witchcraft in your family. As I'm praying for you now, I'm seeing a rope. A rope. I'm seeing a rope. And the Lord is saying that I should set this mama free. I'm just being fast because I want us to conserve time. Hallelujah. Listen. Do you know why we do not minister deliverance just as a religious thing? No. It is a way of separating people and the influences that tie them down. That's what I want to do now. I want to pray. Listen. Many of you inside, many of you outside are here now because of spirits you may not believe it you may not agree but it's true they are the forces responsible for the pain and the tragedies that we are going through but i want to pray for you now your own is to believe just do what i'm asking you to do we have already prayed if those spirits do not clear out of your life there is no breakthrough you, you would have come to waste your time. Let me tell you the truth. It is when those forces leave your life. 
families here spirits have sat on the destinies of families do your worst go to school and come back and meet us get a job and see come back and meet us marry and come back and meet us are we together it's time for them to go lift your hands everyone I want to pray for you now. I'm going to command those devils to leave you. Listen, it's not a suggestion. They must go. They must leave you. Are we together now? I'm praying for you. Please, now, because the ushers are doing their best, the protocol is doing their best, but there is only so much. They may not be able to help people. There are people outside. Please, be your brother's neighbor. If someone is under the anointing and is capsizing to enjoy himself, you can do well to help. Please, you can help at least manage. The ushers will come for it. Because this prayer I'm about to pray now is going to bring strange manifestations in people. I see a lot of wild spirits, wicked, ancient spirits. All shapes and all sizes, they must go now. Just one instruction. I just want you to shout when I ask you the name of Jesus once and at the top of your voice. Now listen, don't be surprised when you find out that demons are manifesting through you. It doesn't mean you are possessed. No, that's a different thing altogether. Some of you as you are here, you are representing your family. Nothing may be wrong with you as a person, but because of your family. Are you ready now? Lift your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, you have anointed this place as a place of fire a place of grace and deliverance there are lives and destinies that have been tied down for ages and in the name of jesus at the sound of my voice may your voice be in my voice may your grace be in my voice i send an alarm to the length and breadth of this place that at the count of three anyone that shouts that name let there be deliverance right now. Are you ready? One, two, three. I command those devils. Go now. Go now. Ancestral spirits. Spirit husbands. Spirit wives. Yokes of darkness. I command you by the power of the Holy Ghost ancient spirits spirits that have been generational familiar spirits I command you now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost overflow one overflow two overflow three let them go now let them go now lift your hands lift your hands i'm seeing a number of ladies there are all kinds of spirits manifesting in the night as a man and a woman manifesting as animals in your sleeps and dreams in the name of Jesus, where are those ladies? Fire is looking for them now. Shakoto Soto Ketiata. Ekelatos Kopriata. I separate you from those spirits. I separate you from those covenants. I separate you from those ordinances. Any man, any woman, any entity appearing to you in the night using the faces of men and animals in the name of jesus i command by the spirit a severance between you and them hallelujah sir this baba can i talk to you sir please come god is about to change your story forever i don't know you sir but i want to pray for you stand up please stand up sir i'm looking at you in a vision and i'm seeing you are not alone 
you came with some people the, your children one one child your son eh? only you no there's a son is here. where is he come come and stand daddy i want to pray for you that this life of hardship god one please stand up please stand up you don't have to kneel down sir this is your dad i want to pray for you you came believing eh august is it augustus i'm hearing the name augustus augustus is it augustus is it augustus augustine or something augustus please if that's your name let me just talk to you quickly i want to minimize personal prophecy so that we can do much we want to pray for the sick I want to take out time and do an extensive deliverance tonight because there are people that my sister come this lady this one not you you are not a woman my brother this come lift your hands shout over, over. forever in the name of Jesus Christ for you and your family it's over in the name of Jesus Christ sir if you have never believed a man of God in your life what is about to happen to you there is a reason why I asked you to come because the Lord showed me that there was a son and I want to prophesy to you that this life of hardship will end like smoke before the wind. You believe it, sir? Receive it right now. In the name of Jesus, it's over right now. I stretch my hands and I decree and declare that it's over. In the name of Jesus, over forever. Sir, hold my hands. Go and prosper. In the name of Jesus Christ, go and prosper. By the anointing of the spirit of god go and prosper gabriel who is gabriel gabriel i'm hearing the name gabriel please let's hurry up so that we don't waste time gabriel gabriel is he gabriel what's your name huh augustine come you are gabriel why is he here augustine I want to pray for you. Where's your family? My dad is around. My sister. Hold on. There's a man wearing white. Is he your father? White shirt. Yes, Call him. Let him come. Who is that? Who is that? There's somebody. I'm seeing somebody wearing white. What's? Please coordinate them. What? You're welcome, sir. Your name is Gabriel, sir. I'm going to pray for you. Please stand here. I want to pray for you. This is the guy wearing white. Come. What is he? My brother. Your brother. Come and stand. God wants to change your life. I don't know you, but I saw someone standing close to you wearing white. That's why I said there's somebody wearing white. Two of you, I want to pray for you. You love Jesus. God is going to change your life. Why is he here? Your name is Gabriel, too. You too. I'm going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, my God. Honestly, I tell you, God is visiting families. I don't know if it's because it's first October, but I see strange miracles. You, this one, put your hand on your stomach there, right now. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing fire coming on you. And the Lord is, I should tell you, he's taking something away from your stomach. That's what is happening right now. In the name of Jesus, I command that thing to go now. My brother, there is oppression. There is a spirit that you need to be delivered from. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I set you free by the power of the Holy Spirit. Out now of his life and his family. Help two of them. God is delivering them. This is the spirit that is destroying their family. What's your name, sir? Augustine. Augustine. Where's the other Augustine? Okay, you are the one. You are the Augustine. Where are you from? Abia State. Abia State. Yes. I want to pray for you. God wants to give your family a miracle. Do you believe that? Lift your hands. There's bad luck in your life. The Lord is asking me to end it now. In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands. I end bad luck. Over. The boy doesn't even believe. As you are standing, the anointing still touch you, but it doesn't have faith. Don't come and stand here and you are wondering. I'm not a herbalist. Have I prayed for you? What's your name? Year two. Year two. What is year two? I'm seeing Y-E. Is it Y-E-T-U or year two or year two? Something like that. 
year two. Something that has to do with year two. Y E T U. I don't know if it's part of someone's name or something. Year two. Who is that? That's her name. What's her name? Year two. Can you imagine? How can you call somebody's name year two? You can guess Gabriel, you can guess Mary. But yet I want to pray. There's something being taken from her life. Hold my hands. And the Lord is saying I should take it away. In the name of Jesus, let it roll like a curtain. And leave her life right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is of the devil. And I release your wife right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Your miracle has come. Your miracle has come. You love Jesus, my friend. Look at me. You love Jesus. I want to pray for you. Ah. In the name of Jesus. Why is she here? Your dad. There is a copper that I want to pray for. There is a copper. Something is coming on you, my dear. Let me pray for you. Don't worry if, if, I, if all I do, I, I just lay my hands on you. Um, it, it doesn't matter. Please, why are you here? You are Gabriel? Gabriel, in the name of Jesus Christ, let me pray for this guy. God is giving you favor. Great favor. Great favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's, there's bad luck in your life and your family, but it's going now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's going. That's why you're here. Gabriel. Aleku is there. This is like an idol. Oleku or Aleku. Eh? Aleku. Aleku. Who is that? Eh? Hold on. Where are you from? Aleku. This is something that has to do with a tree. Is there something like that? He said, What? Why are they coming out? What is why you they name somebody after the idol and the Lord is saying who, who is the person whose name this is it's not just an idol. We are going to pray for Benway State, but the, every state has a devil somewhere. I'm saying this is like somebody's name. Ale Ale Ku or Ale something like that. Ale Ku or so. Who is this? Huh? What's that? Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. What's your name? Eh? Grace. Please, can you help us with this mic? The mic, please. Where are you from? Benway. You are from Benway. Yes. The Lord is showing me something. Look at me. If I'm right, say I'm right. If, if it's no, say no. I'm seeing you lying down and you are having a dream. Yes. And in the dream, you are calling this name I've been calling. Yes. Is that true? They call that name three times. One, two, three. That idol. Is that true? Yes. Sir. From that day when you woke up, your life was never the same again. Is that true? Give her the mic now. Let her talk. Yes. Sir. I want to pray for you. Look at me. Hold my hands. If you are from Benway here, hold my hands. Anything, any programming that has been done with any God. You'll be surprised what will happen now. In the name of Jesus Christ, anyone here from Benway whose destiny has been tied to any tree or any devil, right now, I use this lady as a point of contact. As God is touching her, Shakato Totokata, Reketos Kote Satariatosia, Leketabos, out of their lives now, 
out of their destinies now. Daddy, let me pray for you, sir. This is your first time here? No, sir. I've been coming, sir. You've been coming, sir? Yes. I want to pray for you. What do you do, sir? Sir? What do you do? I'm a staff of a medical university. I have to pray for you, sir. Because I look at you, and not, not only because I'm looking at you, nobody will look at you and nobody. There's serious depression, and I have to pray for you. That's number one. Number two, you have, do you know what they call the cause of hardship? You are not a lazy man, but there is hardship in your life. And the Lord is asking me to help you. Can I pray for you, sir? In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I pray for this, our daddy. Let there be a miracle right now in his life. I command this yoke of hardship to go. Let it go forever. In the name of Jesus. Let it go forever. Jumai. 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 Is that your name? Uh, well, I'll pray for you, but this is not the person I'm seeing. Jumai. I'll pray for you. Your family is oppressed. There is a spirit that must go now. Bring her. I've not even started praying. Bring her. There is a, a, a wicked spirit that I see in this family. A very wicked spirit that I see in this family. This is something that is older than, older than old. This is hundreds of years old. But in the name of Jesus, I'm praying now. I use you as a point of contact. I command that spirit, you must go now. Hallelujah. Please, just allow me. This is, Juma, I'll pray for you. But I'm seeing a family. This is like a curse. No matter what the men do, they never rise. The Lord is saying I should break it. Something is happening to a family right now. Let me pray. My sister, this is your first time here. I want to pray for you. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Don't be afraid. As I pray for you, the Lord is going to open a door in your destiny that will surprise you. In the name of Jesus, I hold your hands now and decree and declare that everything that has tied you down, everything that has tied you down, right now in the name of jesus there is disfavor in your life anybody who plans to bless you something turns them away from you anybody who plans to bless you something turns them away from you i hold your hands and i release you right now in jesus name i want to pray in a hurry there is a family all the men it doesn't matter whether you are hard working whether you go to school or not but the lord is asking me to pray for that family right now lord where are they I'm stretching my hands now and I'm declaring anyone here inside, outside, under the sound of my voice that belongs to this category as I stretch my hands right now I release the power of God to that family right now I speak to the men in that family arise now arise now, arise now arise now, arise now Help that woman. Arise now. Arise now. The men in that family arise now. Arise now in the name of Jesus. There's somebody here. You lost your job in the month of March. March, you lost your job. Please, where is that person? You were working, but in the month of March. I want us to hurry up. I, I'm, I'm trying to see that we conserve time. The month of March. I don't know if you are, except if he's a person, his family overflow tree. Then they can just locate him. You lost your job. There's something. You lost your job in the month of March. Where is that person? Please, quickly, if there's someone like that. What were you doing? I was a banker. I was a banker. You were a banker? Yes, sir. Something happened? Yes, sir. And they dismissed you? Yes, sir. What are you doing now? 
I'm doing my PG program for now. Do you believe if I pray for you, you will get a job? Yes, sir. Will you come and testify? Yes, sir. <laughs> Where? <laughs> Where have you been praying for? Huh? Sorry. Where have you been praying for for a job? Uh, same bank. Bank the same job. bank. Same bank. You want them to call you back? Yes, sir. Do you believe they can call you back? Sure. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. Because you see, I'm looking at something that had to do with money, and truly the guy was innocent. But they just joined people, and since there was nobody to stand for him, they joined everybody and threw them out. But in the name of Jesus. Whatever should not leave you and left you. I call it back to your life now. I call it back to your life now. I call it back to your life now. Hear me. I know many of you may not. Why is he here, sir? Come. Well, stand up, sir. You were outside? Yes, overflow three. Overflow three. Yes, you sir. lost your job. Where were you working? I'm working in hospital. Which hospital? Accountant. Which hospital? Tukutuku Medical Center. So that, you see, we don't ask this question because we are prying into your privacy. I hope you are not embarrassed. Sometimes we ask it so that people don't think that this thing, because there are still people... With all these things they see, they still believe that maybe someone is playing games. At least this one is not, you are watching it now. Which hospital, sir? Tukutuku Medical Center, Zaria. At uh, Tukutuku. Okay, where are you working now? I'm just, I'm managing with one private school. What do you want God to do for you? Just get back the job. Back to that place? No, 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 no. Another job, sir. Another job. Yes. Do you believe if I pray for you, God will give you a job? I believe that. Do you know why I'm prophesying to you in the open? So that you will testify in the open too. What's your name, sir? I'm Paul. Paul. Yes, sir. God will give you a job, eh? Amen. The heaven of heavens belongs to the Lord. Listen. So when it has to do things there, we don't legislate. We make petitions. But the earth has he given to the sons of men. I give you a job now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy it in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. He will go and return with him. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Um, how many of us are trusting God for healing miracles? Or came with loved ones that are really sick? Okay, we have a lot to do. So what will happen is, we'll take a break now to minister very quickly to the sick. And then after that, I'm still going to minister to people shortly before we do the final prayer. Will that be okay? Now, but while we are doing that, please, no laziness. There will be prayer points. Are we together? There will be prayer points. Once the prayer point comes, pray. Because in that prayer point, you will receive your miracle. Praise the Lord. But don't sit down yet. I'm, I'm not walking around, but I just want to. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord directing me to someone. There is, there is something that we must settle here. I'm seeing an anointing going around this place. I'm seeing an anointing going around this area. There is oppression over someone's destiny. That's the lady. In the name of Jesus, I command that devil to go now. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bring out. There's no space here, right? Please, don't push them. Don't push them. We are coming back. Just take her out to wait for me. Mama, what do you want God to do for you? I want to get you on her. I to Mama, I want to do what you want to do. I want to do I'll pray for you. I'll pray for you. Let it be over now. That oppression, let it be over by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is where I'm coming to. In the name of Jesus. Hold on. Hold on. In the name of Jesus. I saw light moving across here. And God wants to visit a family right now. Three of them. One, two, three. Where are they? Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the visitation come now. No hiding. The Lord must touch them. That's why you came. The Lord must touch you. Casting crowds 
lifting hands bowing hearts that's all we come to do let her go now casting the crowns out lifting hands bowing hearts that's all we come to do in your name That girl, look at me. Shout Jesus. Something is tying you. Let it lose you now. I stretch my hands to you. Let it be over now. Hallelujah. Now please, for those of you coming here for the first time, we take our time. We, you see that we don't announce instant miracles except because we don't have the time. Our time is very limited. Praise the Lord. Now this is what we are going to do. Um, while I give you the prayer request, please listen carefully. Those, please listen carefully. I want to pray particularly. Particularly. No matter what overflow you are in. If you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Don't come now. But when it's time to come, I want you to come. I want to pray for you by myself. But any other issue, those inside, I want you to come stand here. And then parts of overflow two, maybe half of overflow two can join them. Now overflow one, please you go to your projector stand. Overflow two and those spilling over at the roadside. You can move to the projector stand. Overflow three. If God grants grace and there's time, I will just run and come and visit you briefly just to let you know we're together. Overflow 3, move to your projector stand. Hallelujah. And we're going to pray very quickly. Please, if they don't prophesy to you or they don't minister to you, don't worry. We have to pray quickly so that I'll focus and do other things. I want everybody to receive. Will that be fine? But those who are trusting God for fruit of the womb, whether you're in overflow, one, two, three, wherever, I like you to please come those online doesn't matter any nation those following us online doesn't matter your nation you're trusting God for a miracle I want you to connect right now by faith hallelujah so we're going to do three things at the same time number one you're going to be submitting your prayer request to the ushers number two you're going to be praying the prayers that I'll give you we're preparing our faith and then number three will come out is that all right Praise the Lord. So let's do that very quickly. Very quickly, please. You're trusting God or you came with a sick person. Now is your time to come out, please. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Jesus, we bless you. I don't know. You reign no Casting crowds. Lifting hands. Bowing hearts is what we've come to do. Casting rounds, we are lifting hands. Bowing hearts is what we've come to do. It's in your name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are going to pray. You came with her. Huh? In the name of Jesus, I command that spirit to leave her now. Leave her now. In the name of Jesus. Can you lay your hands on her, Jimmy?
just on her chest or anywhere. Just touch her there. In the name of Jesus, I decree. I curse that spirit. You go and you go forever. In the name of Jesus. Now this is what will happen. Please, we are going to be very fast. We have to be fast. You see that there are lots of people. Uh, our miracle services. If you came with someone, uh, just be patient. We are going to attend to them. Praise the Lord. Thank God we have, uh, we have many hands. And by the grace of God, we'll coordinate. We'll make it very fast. Ushers, please be collecting the prayer requests. If your loved ones are yet to send their own, send them a text quickly. And she can join the queue. Just keep them somewhere. I'm going to lay my hands on them. Praise the Lord. How many overflows do we have? There's an extra overflow I see by the road. It has spilled over. Maybe overflow four. You can, uh, let's see. We have to be fast. Praise the Lord. Okay, this is what will happen. Um, Pastor Jimmy will be at the overflow outside here. Pastor Alpha, you'll be at the overflow here. Benga, you would go to overflow three. Uh, is there someone outside here? Who is outside here? Pastor Alpha is outside. Uh, promise. Promise you will be here with Pastor Alpha. And then um, Pastor Femi, you'll be with um, you'll be with Benga right there at the overflow. Inside here, I don't know how many people are left. And by God's grace, God will grant us grace and we'll have a lot more people to be able to minister. Okay, Kenny. Kenny, join join um, a Jimmy. You join a Jimmy there. I think that's that's all right so far. Let's let's just trust God for grace. Father, we agree in the name of Jesus Christ that for everyone we are praying for, it doesn't matter who lays hands on them, let there be miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be miracles. The devil is a liar. Let there be miracles. In the name of Jesus. Put your hand on your stomach, my dear. I want to remove something from your body now. In the name of Jesus, I curse that spirit, that devilish spirit. Father, let there be miracles. In Jesus' name. Please, let's go very quickly. We we'll need more hands. I don't know if we we'll still have people. I know they may. Aaron, what if you are not doing anything? Please, if you can help out in Overflow 3 with them so that at least we can help to coordinate things there. Praise the Lord. Father, let there be an avalanche of miracles here right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please worship him. You're going to give us, we're going to pray one prayer first. I'd like you to decree and declare and say, Father, I prophesy over myself that my miracle locates me now. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Father, we give you all the praise. Do I only you know how to do? Come and change my story. Give me a testimony. Do I only you know how to do? Can I hear you say to my only? Do I only you know how to do? Can you lift up a voice and say? Do what only you do know. What only you know how to do. Hey, do I not change? I change my story. Give me a testimony. Give me a testimony. Do what only you know. Do what only you know how to do. Somebody say, Do what only you know how to do. Do what only you know how to do. Somebody 
Judah. My trust is in you. Hey, the ancient of days. My trust is in you. Hey, Shaka. I put them on you. Say, my trust is in you. Hey, I put them on you. Say, my trust is in you. My trust is in you. Yeah. My trust is in you. Oh, I put them, I put them on you. Say, my trust is in you. Oh, I put them on you. On you. My trust. Yeah. My trust is in you. Oh, and life of Judah. My trust is in you. I put them on you, Lord. My trust is in you. Hey, I put them on you, Lord. My trust is in you. In the name of Jesus, shout it in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that tonight is my night of testimony lift your voice and begin to pray over your request lift your voice and begin to declare prophesy tonight is my night of testimony unto you that answers prayers Shall all flesh come? Pray, lift your voice and pray. In the name of Jesus, we declare. Make sure you are praying. Lord, I decree and declare. I will not write this twice. I will not write this twice. Lord, we decree and declare. Miracles. Miracles. Are you praying? Miracles. Visit families. There are still more they should come quickly. Apokoto Prokoto Sekete Balaraba. You reign, you ancient Zion skin. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Are we done? Are all the requests here, please? In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, I bow my knees before the God of my covenant and I decree and declare that every request placed here, I turn it to a testimony now. I turn it to a testimony now. Strange testimonies now. Strange testimonies now. Lord, I cry that you step in and do impossible miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
listen let me tell you there are things written here that except the writer if you read it you won't even believe that it can happen but i pray the god who has the all-seeing eye that can see every request a representation of every man's pain here i call on that god answer by fire answer by fire father there are issues here that are impossible with men some of them have deadlines that cannot be achieved humanly but in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god i prophesy let there be strange miracles strange miracles now for all those connecting from whatever nation in the name of jesus we agree with you here the same fire that is on this altar through the internet to your various localities you receive the same testimony in the name of jesus every human agent that must partner with god for this request to be granted we force them from their hiding places to appear now in the name of jesus christ whoever must die for this request to be answered in the name of jesus the ground opens and swallows them Whoever must lack sleep for this request to be granted, we seize their peace and their sleep now. Hear me? Any mortal man that says over his dead body for you to testify, may God answer their prayers this night. The Lord is opening my eyes. I know they are still ministering outside. Let's be patient. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing trees. I'm seeing trees in the realm of the spirit. And I'm seeing these trees. It's like a representation of families. Hold on please. I'm seeing these trees like a representation of families. And I'm looking at it. I've never seen a tree bringing out blood, human blood. But in this vision, I'm seeing a tree, but I'm seeing human blood. This is like a representation of families. I decree and declare. I don't know what family the devil is taking advantage of, but I want to pray now. I'm not prophesying. I'm speaking for, for God to locate a family that must not go back this night in this situation. Lord, I decree and declare wherever that family is, right now in the name of Jesus, may the fire of God locate that family now. May the fire of God locate that family now. The Lord is releasing an anointing. Hold on. Over people. is for supernatural clarity and direction. That's what I hear. Receive it now. People are receiving it. People are receiving it. I prophesy. Clarity. Clarity. God is answering questions now. By the anointing. If that fire comes on you, you are receiving direction right now. Clarity. Clarity. All the overflows. Clarity. I release that anointing right now. God is giving clarity. Listen, I'm still praying it. I'm seeing anointings that will translate as answers. Should I stay here or should I relocate somewhere else? should i start the project or should i stop every confusion and anointing is answering it now an anointing is answering it now an anointing is answering it now
Alléluia. Alléluia. I'm praying for everybody, but I'm seeing particularly overflow one. An anointing for divine recovery. Divine recovery. Let me tell you something. Whatever leaves you can come back to your life. Are you hearing now? There are people who have lost things. I'm about to call it into your life now. And as that anointing comes on you, just know that it's your time of recovery. Lord, where are they? Where are those who have lost things that need recovery? Shakata kata kata. Shakata kata kata. Proskete kata. Everywhere, everywhere. Everywhere. Inside, outside, outside. The grace for recovery. The grace for recovery. I release that grace now over individuals and over families over individuals and over families individuals who have lost things lost things lost opportunities lost opportunities somebody is recovering an opportunity somebody is recovering something that left you hallelujah the angel of the lord is leading me here there are at least four people this grace for recovery must come upon you i'm seeing at least four people something you have lost is about to look for you something you have lost must look for you i force it to look for you by the power of the holy ghost hallelujah listen let me tell you I told you God answers you by bringing the anointing in your direction. That collision with the anointing is what will program your testimony. And all of a sudden you will see strange testimonies happening to you. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a strong man in four families that God is clearing out of the way. Listen. Listen. I don't say things like this lightly, but I'm seeing at least I'm seeing two women and two men who have sat for long on the destinies of people. They don't even know they are the ones. Where are they? Shakatos keta, brakatos kakatekatos, inside and outside. Whoever, in the name of Jesus, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, any man sitting on anybody's destiny here, you want to rise, but they stop you. You want to move, but they sit on your glory. I clear them out of the way now. Listen, you should attend a miracle service like this and know that you attended a miracle service. Like this mama, you see that? The devil wants to kill this woman with cancer. Eat her into pieces with cancer and destroy her. Your mother, you are the ones who brought her. Hold the mother and two of you come. You, two of you need deliverance first. Leave mama, come, come and stand. Someone should hold or get a seat for mama to sit. I've prayed for her, but I'm looking, I'm, this, is, this is your mother, two of you. I want to pray for you, eh? What you need, I know you brought your mother to be healed of cancer, but for you, God must heal you first. You will need deliverance. Eh? I'm not saying you are witches, but I have to pray for you. This is the instruction God is giving me. Father, in the name of Jesus, you will not allow these ladies to go down the way of trouble and sorrow and pain and discouragement. Therefore, I lay my hands on you. In the name of Jesus, fire over every wicked devil. In the name of Jesus, you came to stand in for your mother, but Satan has his own plan for you. In the name of Jesus. Kai. Wickedness is real. I held these ladies and the Lord showed me a vision. I'm seeing a man, a real herbalist, sitting down on the ground. And I'm seeing something that looks like a pot. They are writing names of people with blood blood not chalk they will write it and throw it inside the pot write it and throw it this is an Igbo family write it throw it inside the pot lord i don't know why you showed me this vision 
but in the name of Jesus I don't care where the family is but in the name of first my first prayer point is that that herbalist must die first in the name of Jesus Christ if you don't like the prayer point say amen to the one you believe but my first prayer point is that the wicked herbalist this is someone's destiny these people are here oh, I'm praying you may not even know you are the one I say it again whoever is that man on the ground writing whose name whether it's your marital destiny whether it's your breakthrough in the name of Jesus let the earth open and swallow that wicked man Who say na? Who say na? Who say na? Who is that, please? Let her come, please, quickly. You are who say na? What's your name? Huh? Who say na? I want to pray for you. Eh? I'll pray for two of you, but you are the one I want to pray for. What's your name? From where? What state are you from? FCT. You are from FCT. Do you believe in favor? Shout it. No, you are not shouting. You have shout favor. Wow. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a lot of bad luck for you and your family and this is what God is bringing for you. Favor. Who say now I want to pray for you? You are who say now to madam? Please come. You too? Is it mother and daughter or you are coming by yourself? You are, you are who say now to? I'll pray for you. But this is the lady I want to speak to. You love Jesus with all your heart. I want to pray for you. God is bringing a major breakthrough for you and your family. Major breakthrough. I lay my hands right now and I command it. Let it happen right now. In the name of Jesus. Where are you from, my dear? Jalingo. Taraba. In the name of Jesus. The Lord gives you a miracle. Now. In the name of Jesus. Let me pray for you. Every bad luck must leave your life now. Eh? Every bad luck must leave your life. I lay my hands and I command that spirit to go. This lady, only bad things look for her. There are people like that. When good things come, they just turn. There is a spirit that turns it away. Everybody is getting a job. Something that is simple. When is your turn? Let me tell you something. Hardship is not poverty. Hardship is a spirit. You get things, but something you can get for two weeks will take you four years. It's hardship. It's a cost. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? You can't go, give God glory under that kind of condition. Simple things. You ask somebody out, I want to marry you. They answer you after four years. It's a cost. Are you, are you a demon? It's a cost. You start a building project, you finish after ten years. It's not a blessing. A hard life is worse than poverty. This is what the devil has put on the life of this lady. I, I take it away now. In the name of Jesus. And I use her as a point of contact. If there is anything on anyone's head that is responsible for bad luck happening. In the name of Jesus. I command whatever it is, let the fire of God come upon it now. Let me pray for you, man. In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands upon you and I release favor. In the name of Jesus, favor. I'm seeing someone, you are into printing. Please, let's hurry up. We have to stop a few minutes now so that you are into printing. You print like... Um, posters whatever it is you design you print banners please who is that person i want to pray for you you are into printing uh, i will pray for you but the person i'm seeing i'm not saying if you want to do it if you are currently doing it you are into it for how long since my, my child was a I was born into printing. Your father is a printer? Yes, sir. Where do you do it? Mina. 
Mina. Yes, sir. From Mina, you came here. I'm serving in, in Kadzara. Because the person I'm seeing is about to lose a lot of money. This is a contract or project that someone will give you. You will suffer and do it, and something will happen and destroy that whole job. And the person will say, You must pay. And it's going to cost you hundreds. I don't know. Well, may not be so much money to you, but I'm seeing something losses of at least this is a very big project that the person is even angry. I'm seeing something that even has to do with police because the person will say that you went and gave the job. All of you are into printing. What are you printing? I'm into printing. What printing? Books, everything in every press. Books. You yes. too? Your dad. All of you. I'll pray for you. You are standing in for somebody. We have to avert this. This time of recession is not the best time to get into trouble with police. Say amen. amen. You want to stop it now. So that whether it's your fault or not, when you are in trouble, you are in trouble. And you see, the way the devourer works is that he will wait just when I'm, I'm soon going to do that prayer. Where things work, just when the miracle is about to happen, something happens and destroys your life. I have to pray for you. Where is your dad? Huh? He stays in Abuja. He stays in Abuja. That's where you stay too? Yes. What's your name? Peace. Peace. I want to pray so that we'll stop trouble eh? in the name of Jesus. Daddy, we use your daughter as a point of contact to pray. Every trouble we avert now. You two, you are into the printing. Where? Abu Press. Abu Press. Yes. You work with Abu Press. Yes. Hey, you walk there now, it's not your own. Okay, but I will still pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Grace. The one for Mina, I release you. Eh? Can I pray for businesses? Yes, sir. Can I speak over businesses? Huh? You are into printing? Uh, what's your name? Hassan. 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 You, you, you need to... Um, well, I don't mean to embarrass you, but you are very shabby. Huh? You need to organize your life. You're a smart young man, but you see how you are looking like uh, a thief. You'll be smart when you are coming to the house of God. Listen, when you, people are, when you are coming to the house of God, don't embarrass him. This is a family, but you look smart. You don't dress, you see, no shoes, your hair is scattered, not combed. You look smart. Eh? You are my friend. I want you, it will be difficult for you to progress in life like this. It will be difficult for you to get a good wife like this. It will be difficult for you to get many good things. <laughs> Appearance is the seed for acceptance. Don't say it doesn't matter. Dress well. The house... Organize his life in the name of Jesus Christ. Organize his destiny. There is a spirit of excellence. Excellence is a spirit. You receive it in Jesus' name. I'll quickly pray for you. Doesn't matter where you're standing. You, you are into printing too. You too. In the name of Jesus, all those into printing, I lay my hands, Pastor Lawrence, grace for you. You will do well. You will get jobs in Jesus' name. There are some of us, what we need now, we are at a point in our lives where humanly speaking, we have paid our price. What you need is favor. And we are going to pray it. Is that true? Are there people like that here? There are others you have not paid your price. Paying for favor is putting you into trouble. What I need to pray for you for is grace not to be lazy. Laziness is also a spirit. Many of us don't know. It takes a lot of laziness. Um, something is leaving you. That devil must go now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let her go by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You want to print in two? In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There is somebody you so clothes. You are a serious tailor. But for a long time, this is from April. Everything just went down. I don't mean gradually 
down like this it's almost as if please who is that person you are a tailor you sew clothes you are a serious tailor but something just happened i'm seeing the month of april and everything just went down you are the one you sew clothes where Django. who knows you if you are a serious tailor they should know you here who are who, you've sewn people's clothes here Okay, Zango. Yes, there's a shop. I'm what ha then what happened? There's a shop. I'm working for somebody. So last month he sent me out and closed the shop for no reason. Last month? Yeah. Um, okay, I'll pray for you. If you did something wrong and they pursued you, when you come here, you ask for mercy. You don't complain. Even if it's my shop and you don't do well, I will drive you. Everybody wants to succeed. So let's, let's be very honest when we are before God. Praise God. When you are before God, if you tell the truth, that's even what will provoke his mercy. You understand? If, you, if, if I employ you, don't be embarrassed, my dear, but if I employ you and you are not bringing me anything and I'm paying you, why won't I downsize and drive you? So don't make it look as if because this person you are saying drove you. I'm not seeing the person as a wicked person. No. Something happened and it's your fault. Eh? You need the mercy of God. And God will help you. Don't make it. You see that if, if it's not revelation now, you will now blame someone else and say that person is wicked. My prayer for you is that God will bless you too. Huh? But please, don't be angry. I'm not seeing that person. That person did exactly what I would have done. Hmm? Father, in the name of Jesus, show your daughter mercy. If you need mastery, may God improve your skill. May God improve your value. And I pray for you in Jesus' name. God will not leave you hungry. The God we serve will change your story tonight. In the name of Jesus. You experience his mercy. You experience his grace. Madam, you are a tailor. Where? Samaru Market. Samaru. Market. You have your shop? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Yes, sir. You are a good woman, but you are always entering trouble with those you sew their clothes. You don't used to finish on time. Madam, I'm going to pray for you. The Lord is showing me. Don't be embarrassed. This is a family. It may just need you are a very good tailor. I'm not I'm not against you. Don't feel bad. I, I'll send some people. That's what I'm seeing now. Yes, and there's problem now. They are even angry. Yes, sir. Because they are supposed to sew something for them for an occasion. Uh, and you didn't finish. And now the person is really angry. So these are some of the things we are talking about. As God steps in, let's allow his mercy. Just tell them sorry. Because you I want you would have been far more than you are now. But there is a spirit of delay sitting on your glory. Hold my hands. He must go now. To draw from you again. Again. We've come to draw. 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 Draw from you again. Listen. I want you to mark this woman. The kind of favor this woman will enter into from this night will surprise you. I'm saying it in the open. The Lord will give you favor. You are a tailor. Why are you just coming, my brother? We are praying for people here. Hmm? Father, in the name of Jesus, help our brother to succeed. Hmm? It's unbelief. If God is calling a case to help people, huh? you come out proudly. You don't stand there. You are ashamed. You understand you are a student and you are doing it you people too you are tailors see the tailors are now coming out we'll pray for your business please all tailors do a good job we believe in excellence don't say I'm praying for you publicly it's not just endorsing you to destroy people's clothes do a good job praise the Lord do a good job and we'll pray for you. There are too many people here. Two school of ministry wants to do their graduation gown. In two weeks, we are graduating our students, 243 students. Imagine that you get the contract to do their gown. If you do a good work, God will honor you. If you do a nonsense work, people will not endorse you just because it's the house of God. Praise the Lord. My brother, you want to study? Where? I'm a student. Oh, you are a student? Yes. Okay. Okay. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord grant you grace. God will raise help for you. In the name of Jesus, God will raise help for you. 
by the power of the Holy Spirit. You are a tailor. In the name of Jesus, God will raise help for you. You need deliverance. I command the spirit. Hi. This lady has oppression in your dream. I set you free right now in the name of Jesus Christ, who is the Son of the Living God. You didn't come out for Taylor, you came out by the mercies of God. You see what I'm saying? This is the Taylor now. You see what? Let me pray for her, please. I see a wild animal. I'm looking at this lady and I'm seeing. Kai. Lord Jesus, mercy. I command every legal access Satan has over you. When this lady gets angry, she can swallow you. It's not her fault, it's a spirit. Be free now. Look how many people are holding one lady. In the name of Jesus, I set you free by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let me advise you. If you want to enter a relationship, pray. If you want to marry, pray. You Listen to what I'm telling you. You see, the body of Christ, we don't listen. And we do, I'm not saying this lady is a witch. Please don't get me wrong. But I'm saying you should pray. Now, I'm not condemning her. But imagine that you are in a relationship with this lady and you married last week. You see this? If this lady is angry, that spirit will manifest. No matter how strong you are, she will beat the living daylight out of you. When that spirit leaves her, she will tell you sorry and then it will come back. This is what God is helping us to solve. Are we together? Now imagine you are a customer and just because you gave her 10,000, you insulted her. When that spirit rises, she will tear your cloth or beat you. Lord Jesus, we invoke your mercy upon her. In Jesus' name. Madam, you are a tailor too? Where? Judge. Judge. I'll pray for you. You are a tailor too? Where? You are in Nazareth State. In the name of Jesus, may God increase you. I speak to your business. Let it increase. Experience increase. Delay lives your life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you are in business, please lift your hands. I want to speak over your life. Please believe the prayer I'm praying for you. There is an anointing that makes people prosper. Why are you here? You are tailors. You are all tailors. What do you mean you are tailors? This gentleman, you are a tailor too? Okay, please come. You would have come out since, so that our time, you know, our time. You are all tailors. You are a tailor too? I hope we all know that this is the house of God. Please don't don't tell lies. If you are not a tailor here, I'm, the prayer will reach everybody. If you are not into tailoring, please don't embarrass yourself. If you are into tailoring, leave them, leave them, please. Provided you, are, I don't know what is this with God and tailors, but let's pray because God wants to increase you. You look like a tailor. You see, some of you don't look like tailors. You are, you, are not, you are not dressing like tailors. This gentleman is sharp and smart. He looks like a tailor. Ejimi teaches that you represent your brand. If you are a man of God, you show it by the anointing. If you are a tailor, if you are a public speaker, you show it by accuracy of communication. If you are a tailor, you are marketing your products at all times. You don't say, come to my shop. No. If I cannot see your tailoring prowess on you, then I shouldn't patronize you. Father, change the lives of these great people of ours. I'm just going to lay my hands and touch your head. And in the name of Jesus, I pray, may your business step into a new dimension. In the name of Jesus. As I lay my hands, please go back to your seat. In Jesus' name, that yoke leaves you now. In the name of Jesus, grace for you grace for you grace for you go and increase go and multiply my dear go and increase go and multiply increase madam multiply go and increase go and multiply go and multiply go and increase go and multiply go and increase go and multiply go and increase whether you're a tailor or not, after this people don't come out again. Go and multiply. Go and multiply. In the name of Jesus. Go and multiply. Go and multiply. In 
Jesus name if you are in business please any kind of good godly business lift your hands if you are in a bad business repent and do something honorable listen let me mention an example of bad business any business that has to do with smuggling drugs you are a thief you are not in business you stop it I don't care whether you are helping young guys around Samaru connect with a snuff that's not a business are we together there are businesses that are demonic writing exams for people writing jam for people writing I will never pray for you for increase that's not a godly business business that has to do with you having an affair with somebody's husband somebody's wife it's not a good business prostitution not a good business dirty business that has to do with ungodly things no no sir let's be very sincere before God but I pray sincerely from the depth of my heart the power to prosper the grace that can come on a business and turn it around overnight receive that grace right now receive that grace in the name of Jesus listen please I want you to be childlike enough and believe this prayer I'm praying for you and watch what God does some of you you don't have any clients you don't have any customers some of you overnight just by this prayer by miracle service October it will be like a dream I prophesy to you some of you you have the ideas what you need is capital I declare let somebody rise up who is willing to help you in the name of Jesus Christ some of you what you need is an endorsement of someone credible in your field so that it will open doors for you may someone who has gone ahead of you accredit you in the name of Jesus Christ some of you are trying to sell properties there's nobody to buy but if someone comes to buy it God will use it to honor you I call somebody to buy it now in the name of Jesus now I prophesy favor on everyone I decree and declare tonight the main auditorium overflow one two three those following online the kind of favor you have never seen in your life may my God make it happen in your life now receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus Esther the village girl became Esther the queen through favor Ruth the hungry woman who was about to die became Ruth the wife of Boaz I don't know who I'm prophesying to but the favor that would change your story in one month I release it to you right now I release it to you right now in the name of Jesus Christ help that woman there please there are people from January till now you have never testified it's not that you don't want to come out but nothing has happened I stand before the God of heaven and I decree and declare may my God do something in your life that will force you to come and testify in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare I don't know what door has closed between you and your next level you have been knocking for a long time and that door has refused to open I open that door for you right now I open that door for you right now any terminal disease ravaging anyone's body you get healed right now two weeks you are back again you get healed three weeks you are back again I set you free right now help that I set you free right now in the name of Jesus Christ the only thing you know that happens in your family is fight and quarrel no love no joy when someone is about to rise a troublemaker comes I declare May the Prince of Peace 
may the prince of peace step into our homes now step into our families now you are beautiful you love god you are a well-mannered lady no husband i'm led to pray this prayer you don't hear me pray it all the time but i decree and declare every lady here ready for a relationship a godly one i call your husband to your life now every gentleman who wants to marry but no job no money the devil is <laughs> the devil is using lack of finances to rubbish your life in the name of jesus the god that can lift a man from a dunghill may that god lift our brothers here right now any project you started this year that you were hoping to have completed by now and as it is you need a miracle i release the finisher's anointing upon you in the name of jesus christ all those writing exams shakatos kata prati alakatos in the name of jesus the grace to not only write your exams but to finish well i release it upon you right now in the name of jesus christ all our, our brothers and sisters who travel from several places to write post you and me in the name of jesus we give you admission here i don't care who you know or who you don't know we give you admission here now hallelujah school of ministry students are writing their exams by nine o'clock tomorrow in the name of jesus grace for retention receive it there are other people writing promotion exams others there are, we have a lot of postgraduate students doing their phd work research you know their thesis whatever it is anything that has refused to come to completion in your life I, re I release upon you grace for completion in the name of jesus the last prayer point and we are done give me two minutes i need to pray for our spiritual lives some of you started well with god but right now you need prayers you need serious prayers prayer zero fasting zero word life zero passion for the things of god zero you are not bad but in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying. The fire. The Bible says the spirit of a man is the candle of the Lord. The fire that must come upon the candle of your destiny. Sokoto Pakata. From the main hall here. Overflow one. Overflow two. Overflow three. Take a fresh fire for your work with God. Take a fresh fire for your work with God. Hear me some of you the moment you open your bible it's as if something happens and you close it back it's not normal i decree and declare passion for the word of god receive it right now some of you used to pray seriously you even used to attend the the weekly prayer department meeting but things happen you were offended with god and several things happen in your life and you say I'm, i've been praying but i've not seen result and you stop i release upon you grace to go back grace to go back to the prayer altar grace to go back to the prayer altar grace to go back to the prayer altar hear me those of you who as you are seeking money you are forgetting god as you are seeking marriage you are forgetting god it's not that you want to do so life is pushing you away from god whatever is drawing you away from god i cause that thing now listen we're rounding up god and prosperity can go hand in hand
God and marriage can go hand in hand. Whatever must make you leave God to get it is of the devil. May it live your life forever. Now keep your hands lifted. The last prayer point. God is looking for men and women of the spirit. Simple one minute prayers that will change your life now. Lift your hands. I want to pray for something to come upon these hands. Listen. Mm. There must be an evidence if you belong to this ministry. This is a supernatural ministry. This is a ministry of signs, wonders, diverse manifestations. I will not end this meeting without this impartation. I'm praying now at the count of three. Let an unction, let an ancient mantle land on someone's hand. One, two, three. Take it now. Healing anointing. Take it now. Prophetic mantle. Take it now. Grace for signs and wonders. Receive it. May your hands become healing hands. May your hands become miracle hands. Deliverance hands. Favor hands. Hear me? The grace to win souls like never before. I know it's old school. I'm both old and new school. Depending on the one that does not work. Soul winning is never old school. The Bible says he that winneth souls is wise. I pray for you. Grace for a dimension. Evangelism through signs and wonders. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. The last prayer for you. The mantle of honor. The grace that distinguishes a man above his contemporaries. I lay my hands on my head and I prophesy to you. Carry that anointing right now. Carry that anointing right now. Experience strange levels of honor. In the name of Jesus. Father, we give you all the praise. Every expectation you brought here, whether I mentioned it or not, I'm agreeing with you now. Within 24 hours, let your miracle start. Within 24 hours, let your miracle start. Those of you who came from far, before you get to where you came from, you will collide with miracle after miracle. Testimony after testimony. Hallelujah. If there is anyone here in ministry, a man of God, a woman of God, you have a fellowship, you have a church, I pray for you. The fire that is here, carry it back to your church. Carry it back to your fellowship. Carry it back to your place of ministry. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Wave your hands and give Jesus praise. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Everyone, keep standing. You are here. Our time is gone. Everyone, please stand. You are here. You are worshiping with us for the first time. Overflow 1, Overflow 2, and Inside. This is your first time. Please make your way here. Overflow 3, just make your way to the front of your projector stand and look at me. Let's honor them, Koinonia, quickly. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please keep standing. Two minutes, we are done. Let's honor them, they are coming. May God bless all of you who continually invite people to come. Listen. Let me tell you one truth. I am very honored to have the privilege to lead this campaign of bringing the reality of the power and the presence of God to people. 
when you invite people you don't necessarily make a ministry bigger yes you increase them in numerical strength but the truth about it is that you are giving people an opportunity to have encounters hallelujah for all of you who take out time to invite people may the god i serve bless you clear the way for them as they come hallelujah hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you